This man Carlos Miller just here to let you know that we are expanding the merchandise department. Look at this, check out these pastel colors that we got. You feel me? What's that, light purple? What's that like? It's a boy blue? What's this right here? This like, oh, you think you cute? You just think you cute with this shit on, don't you? Look, that's right. That's 85 South. Make sure you go hit the website, 85apparelco.com. And I'm telling you, we taking over, bro. I think the ladies is going to really enjoy these right here. And I'm talking about for all the hustlers out there, that's if you still living, grab you something that say 85 South on it, bro. I'm talking about a t-shirt. I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about some socks. I'm talking about a something. It ain't nothing to it. Hit the website. It's right here. You see where my fingers point? That's where the website go. Make sure you put the website right here. But look, go out there and support the 85 South Show. You know what time it is. Yeah. San Diego, we coming through there. Diego, saying. No cap. Yeah. 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 Diego saying. I'm going. Yeah, we gonna be out there. I'm June 22nd. Hey, if y'all looking for me, June 22nd, where you going? I'll be in San Diego. San Diego, we gonna come with you. Get the tickets. 85 Southshow.com. Get your tickets. June 22nd, San Diego, the Civic Center Theater. Cross that line. Hey, 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 nigga on mamas, nigga. You know what? what time it is, nigga. Get your tickets, nigga. We coming to the town, nigga. Yeah, June 23rd, nigga. Yeah, you hella weird, nigga. You hella weird, June nigga. June 23rd, nigga. Nigga, if you don't come to the show, nigga. Nigga, if you don't come to the show June 23rd, nigga, you hella boosty. Hella That's my boosty, baby nigga. Word. Hella yes. boosty, nigga. Eh, eh. Get up out of here on the nigga, nigga. Get up out of here. Come see y'all like June 23rd. Yeah, you yeah, dig? Cause, yeah, cause, I'm, cause real G's eat cheese and stack G's. You dig? Not the ones that got down. They can't eat cheese. They lactose, they hella weird. No but get your tickets. Yeah. When, yeah, you, you don't already get, know. You don't June get 23rd. no hoes, so you lactose. Open in the ring. You, you lack hoes. You dig? Lactose? Lack. Lactose, 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 lactose. 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 You lack no hoes, you lack hoes. You lack hoes. You lack hoes and And if you ain't got no friends, you lack bros. Right. Right. You lack bros. But you lack the toes, cause you need the hoes with the right. toes. Yeah, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's the, yeah you don't get no hoes. necessary with the hoes. You gotta, you gotta. With the toes. Unless you're in a wheelchair. Formality. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you got toes, they just. Then she can roll up on you. Ah. June 23rd, we in the bay. 85 South Show, Big Minutes Tour. Arizona, get your tickets. Nigga. Arizona is gonna be hot, hot nigga. It's gonna be fire. fire. It's gonna be smoking. Smoking. <laughs> I don't even have to say nothing because it's been said already. Fuck you talking about? Well, sundress. Smoking. No cap. Get your tickets. Why would you wear drawers with a sundress? That don't even make sense. That's you, that's. You see in the panel line sometimes. Like, that shit's stupid. I yeah, just went bro. too far. But we ain't came to Tempe, Arizona yet. June twenty first. Get your tickets. I know it's gonna be hot. Time. Make it hot. Smoking. Move, move over there, my friend. <laughs> and welcome back to the 85 South Show. Close the door for me. Close the door, cause it's about to get real political in here today, Lewis. We we going to the politics and we keeping the straight hip hop, and we and I'm keeping this joint. I'm keeping the joint. And we keeping it gangster too. I'm keeping it all the way gangster. It, it's it's gonna be a whole lot of collar popping in. And, and a lot of adjectives and, and a whole lot of whole lot of pee, whole lot of pee getting dropped in here. Uh, game, macaroni, all that. Uh, we speaking in cursive. It ain't that we uh, talking too fast. The bitch is listening too slow That's today. Right. You goddamn it, me. I'm me and a bitch ill like last year. Huh. You feel me? Huh. She got it on her. I'm trying to get it out of her. Huh. Huh. So we we went and we had to go through our roller decks. We still got a roller decks, old school, because the office had closed next door. So we just got a roller decks, put all our contacts in. So I'm rolling through the roller decks. I'm like, who we need to get on here today? Who we keeping the real hip hop? Man, I got. Who you got? I got. Tell, let me see. I Bro, wanna see. When I tell you the nigga name, uh -huh. it's gonna make all the sense in the world. We talking about the Lord already. He wanted the Lords of the underground. Don't tell him you finna bring T.D. Jakes in this moment. No, I ain't talking about T.D. Jakes. I'm talking about my player partner, oh. Mr. Do It All. Oh, you feel me? Dude, he fall. Yeah, What's that, uh, uh, And then we got another sensational. Yes. We got a sensational young lady in here with us today. Yes. And she had to make sure uh -huh. that the world get to see her outside that little pop-up box. That's right. Mm. They got they don't never get the experience to hold her. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So listen, man, we stay on 10. But I got none other than 
Miss Tesla in here with us today. Ooh. Tesla on 10. 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 First minute. Viral. Now, now you know, yeah. normally, we would just already have the guests sitting down, but she said, uh uh. <laughs> She got to show it. You feel me? You feel me? Don't blow it. Show it. She got it on her. Yeah. Bought that out with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They trying to hold her back as a black woman. They want to use a little screen this big and do a little pop-up you just so she can do. give That's up right. her brains. They forgetting all about her beauty. Mm. And she made it a point. <laughs> that they see the whole thing. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah. I'm just a spectator commentator at this point. Uh. Yeah. Now, you see, I just said a lot. <laughs> now I'm about to kick back and let them do what they do, because I can't put you up on everything. Sometimes you got to let people tell the world what mm. they doing at the moment. I appreciate you, though, man. Sometimes yeah, I, I sit back and watch this shit and forget we be taping it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm scared to pop it, because when I pop but it, I don't stop The good thing about it today is we man. got... We got some seasoned professionals in here with us today. I could really just be a guest. This ain't even a show today. This is really a panel. Because mm, we finna mm. address the community, mm. the political side of it, the change, who we voting for. They got, they got yeah, some niggas information. Niggas need to hear that. The niggas, niggas don't need know to who hear that. They hear me all the time. Yeah. Mm. Niggas don't know who to vote for. Yes, Wherever y'all want to jump in, then it's pick a camera. <laughs> pick a camera. More of the story. Because I know y'all got some big shit to tell. She was just telling us how all of that shit is similar to pimping. Yeah. Yeah. It is. We Politics, all of that. Yeah. And I knew that, but I didn't know they knew that. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Politics pimping. Right. right. Yeah. Because if you ain't pimping, you're probably somewhere being somebody's mm. ho. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If you ain't selling it, you're getting sold. Right. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's I'm it. I'm talking mm. about. Yeah. Yes. How y'all been, first of all? Good. Welcome What's to the 85 up? South yes, Show. Yeah, I see here. y'all got good yeah. wine. Good wine, yes. Good incense. We like yes, yes, good, yes, yes, yes. like yes. good incense for the company. Mm. Good incense. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. get good. the good incense. Good yeah. incense. Hell good, hella good. Good, good candles job. and shit good burning. Good good talk. <laughs> good yeah, we just about to talk. Good company. Good Real people, black man. today. How did you come up with Mr. Do-It-All? Oh, man, you know, to be honest, man, when I was in high school, my man KR used to give everybody nicknames. And, um... I played in high school, I was on everything. I was in a computer club, I played baseball, I played basketball. I was in the future business leaders of America. Damn. Me too. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Yeah, man. And um, and one day I'm running down the hallway and uh, he sticks out his hand to give me a pound. My hands are full, I don't give him a pound. And he goes, damn, damn. And my, my real name is Dupre. And mm. for short, they call me Du. So he was like, damn, dude, you can't give me a pound. I'm like, yo, I'm late for baseball practice. He was like, baseball practice? He was like, man, dude, you do everything in this school. He was like, there he go. Do it all, do. You nigga fixing cars, everything. <laughs> nigga, you four years old, nigga, under the car. <laughs> <laughs> man, this nigga do everything. Right. This nigga play video games, <laughs> fix cars, sell weed, pimp. Right, right. Cook, do it all. I found the locker, like, what you need? You know what I mean? Damn. The next day, I was um, in the hallway battling somebody, rhyming. And he comes down the hall, the, the middle of the steps, like a movie. And I was, must have been tearing the frame out this dude. And he was like, that's my dude. Do it all, do. And then the whole school just started calling me do-it-all-do. That's it all saucy. Do. That's saucy. Because that means you really work for your name. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. That's, that's that air. You know names. Yeah, just yeah, don't well, make yeah, up yeah, your well, own names name. matter. Yeah, 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 you yeah, had yeah. to really do yeah, it yeah, all yeah. for a nigga to call right, you Right, that's right, that's yeah. right. Now yeah. niggas call, they, I do it all. Yeah, well, they you make up, they, yeah, they, they yeah. make up shit on Instagram. Motherfucking name on Instagram. They make up shit on Instagram. Nigga lying like, it was a time where receipts matter. Yeah. It was a time where receipts matter. And name denotes ownership. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. You know, I was owning what I was doing, and, and then my people gave me that name. So that's why I really accepted it. That's but you got to be careful of the moniker you choose, too, because then you got to do you all that stuff. Me. Like, that's why I, I, I be trying not to name, you know, people be having these record labels and kill everybody in the house records. And then they go to jail later. See, when people do that shit, I just be like thinking, like, in my mind, it's a nigga somewhere in America who gonna hear that and be like, why he bringing us up? We ain't <laughs> fuck with nobody, bro. <laughs> nigga, keep our name in their motherfucking mouth, bro. Kill everybody in the house record. We, we for the children, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Man, but I, see, I ain't even did, bro. I ain't yeah. did, bro. Yeah. Bro went on the show and put my sh- You live. <laughs> if it's beef, just say that, my yeah. nigga. <laughs> probably some old niggas name do it all, and they probably mad at you. Yeah, nah, I mean like you ever met I, another do it all? Yeah, I met a I met a, a dude named DJ Do It All. You know, what I mean from 
And, and when I approached him about the name, you know, back in the 90s, we, we always, we ain't had an internet like that. Yeah. So we would approach people. Yeah. And um, he said he was just inspired by me. So, mm. you know. You can't hey, beat man. him up after that. No, yeah. no, after yeah. that. <laughs> you already know. Because these yeah. niggas from Newark, you know they showed up with a bunch of niggas. Yeah, and, yeah. Yo, what's up with your name, yeah. son? <laughs> Come here, let's do it all, yo. Yo, Come dude, here. you gonna let this nigga take your name? Yeah, right. Hey. Your birth name, yeah. Dupre? And then hey. I just say, I'm hey. inspired by you. Speak, you speaking of names, this is totally impromptu. Our brother Killer Mike, he just FaceTimed me. He was gonna say what's happening with Killer Mike. What's the word? <laughs> Hey, man, when you gonna bring the Grammys on the 85 South show? Hey, man, you fuck around, give me trying to come at three or four more, man. All right, bet, bet. <laughs> we'll let you get there and get to what you're getting to, though, bro. Big salute. Good to see you, Mike, fam. Mike, Mike. Mike, what up, King? What's up? What's up? Uh, I, I, ain't, I ain't ready to be working. I, I see you working, yet. King. I can't announce on the 85 South, though. No, you can't. You I can't, got three or four more, man. All right, all right. I'll right. do nothing. Bring us three or four more. All right. I had to include my brother. We ever talking about the hip hop caucus, how politics meet, you know, poli uh, the streets, the whole nine hip hop. So we holding it down See, for she you. She a gangster. Man, I'm a gangster for real. Yeah. real oh, she definitely is. <laughs> She's finna call Andre 3000 next. <laughs> hey, that's what's up, baby. We got you live. Thank you so much. Peace. Love you, baby. I had to answer that, y'all. Yeah, we, no, we, we had to bring Killer Mike nah. in the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because that's Mike. what we're talking about is the hip hop, um, the congressional first time that hip hop has actually made it to Congress, the congressional right. hip hop uh, power and justice task force. And so Killer Mike's a part of it. Mm -hmm. Do the it hip hop all a part task of force. It. Yes, yeah. heavy on the task. Is it all black people? Yes, so far it's all black people, but you know. That sound like the police. Yeah. <laughs> no, <it laughs> the, the black people, the police. All black people sound like the yeah. police. Yeah. But See, we the have task force part made me like, yeah. oh shit, them niggas coming. Yeah, no, but hey, let would you let them know we really coming though? Oh, no, we are. Like for real. I like that. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's it's different. It's not just focused on the policy. It's important to have policy, but one of the things I talk about, we push the line politics till something happens. It's important to be heavy on the task. That's right. So when we talk about task, I'm talking about Willie D, who's a part of it. We're doing mm -hmm. a shout out Willie D. Shout out to Willie D. Doing a dispute resolution training in a couple of weeks. We're talking about we we'll do it all, and my son is doing we we'll drill the hill. So shout not only we heavy son. on the task. Mm -hmm. It's not just the policy. You know, fight for this law and push this law. No, it's important to show, which is why Killer Mike is also part of it. Right. How local politics meets the federal level and how you can get shit done without having to wait you know, on, on other people to make it happen. We have the power in hip hop. We have the power in entertainment. If we just come together, we're like, get this shit going, like we talking about with the, with the game. Yep. Nobody had to let us in the door with the game, we bust that shit down. Right. So if we take that same mentality, whether it's game banging, whether it's pimping, whether it's in the streets, whether it's rapping, you take that same mentality, same organizing mentality, and bring it to the community, that's, fact. that's how you get shit done. It's literally the same mentality. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, mama. The politics what? trickles down anyway, right? Like right. From, it, pick, it trickles down to the community anyway. The community makes it move, man. Yeah, but they get the the, the short end of the stick when it comes to that. By the time it trickles down, it ain't even shit really left. No, but that's because you starting to trickle wrong. Right. See again, y'all going trying to can I can I talk game? Please, please. Do you yeah, my Oakland hey, brother? I just want to just talk some game. I just want to know I'm why they call me the hood whisper. I don't want to talk over fun. your head. No, you starting with the plug. You going and asking the plug mm -hmm. way in Mexico, nigga. Trickle down, trickle down. That's Congress. You go talk to that nigga on the corner. The one that's gonna bust it down and pass it over. You talking to the wrong people. It ain't trickling down. Trickling a councilman up. is trickling. That's exactly it. So mm -hmm. the reason why I brought my good brother here, the councilman, when you look at who has the power, which is why Killer Mike talks about this all the time, it's not Congress. It's not Trump. It's not Biden. It's not your co congressional federal, you know, representatives, which is all due respect. Shout out to Representative Bowman who started this. Right. But the real Shout power, the real work, just like in the streets, who going to give you that ounce? Who going to give you that key? How you going to bust that shit down? Who has more importance, the one on the block or the one in Mexico? Who has the most influence? So it's not oh, that it don't trickle down. You just don't know where to go get to work. Yeah. And you don't know how to bust that shit down and give it to everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? People, niggas is eating. You just knocking on the wrong door. Me? In general, I'm oh, just saying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 just a gym, but explain it like what yeah. your what your budget is. Why it's important that you have a real hip hop artist for real as a real sitting councilman, and how much power he has in just this position alone. 
besides the president. It does shit don't trigger down. Y'all just not working up. the right It thing. definitely trickles yeah. up, you know. Um, I mean, even today, right before I came to the A, man, we were dealing with budget. And I'm a new councilman, right? So July 1st would be two years for me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to that. And, and, and I can talk my What's up? Have you recently had an accident? How you gonna rebuild? By calling the law offices of Brandon Dixon. That's right. Now check this out. He said he don't even want no money unless they win. And even if you do win and you use the code 85 South, he'll give you a discount on your attorney fees up to $850. Ain't that right, Brandon? Absolutely. <laughs> That's what it is then. Give them the phone number so they can call you and they'll have to call me. So you can call 404-884-8991, or you can visit the website, brandondixonlaw.com. And if you tell them you heard about it on the 85 South Show, it give you a discount on your attorney fees. Listen to this, up to $850. I didn't say that man was going to give you $850. I didn't even say $850. I just said it's up to. Absolutely. That's between y'all. So once you make the call, make sure you mention the 85 South Show. Please talk to him. Yeah, talk to him. Talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A real hip hop artist. Some niggas say they be running say they rap, but no, you a real hip hop artist. And salute to all my brothers who ran and didn't win because they had the opportunity to win. You know what I mean? From Luke to I just got Scarface with Scarface last week. Yeah. Willie D. We got some people trying to really make a, a difference. But in 1992 in Orlando, Florida, I see my brother Kirby over there with me. He was with me. We was with Tupac Shakur, right? You remember the time we was with right, Pac, right, Kirk? And, and Pac told me, like, we 20 years old at this time, <clears> right? <throat> so he telling me, like, we... Actually, we almost got into a fight first, right? So... Yeah, because y'all was with Tupac? Yeah, we yeah, were with Yeah, that sound like y'all so, was in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Pac, man, I miss him so much because he came to my room, man, and he was talking about how, what we need to do in our communities. Mm -hmm. I never heard no 20-year-old talking about, talking about stuff like this. He had a blunt behind one ear, a Newport behind the other. He had two 40s in his hand, handing me one. And he was, that's when you could smoke in the hotel rooms back then. Mm -hmm. you know? And he was just like, yo, we got to create nonprofit organizations in our community. He said, don't move where you're from. You know, I'm from Newark, New Jersey, you know? Uh, I got two other members in my group, one live in Miami in a beautiful home, and my other MC partner live in Northern California, palm trees all around his crib. I live in my hood in one of the buildings that, you know, that I, I'm actually invested in, but I'm still in my hood. So all of the things Pac asked me of me back then, I did. I didn't move from my, my crib. He also said that, you know, with all of the things that he said, we might want to become legislators. I didn't know what he almost didn't know what legislation was. You know, and I was like, legislators, man, we rappers. What you talking about, Pac? And he just, you know, if he knew Pac, he was just real adamant about stuff. And he was like, no, he was like, if the way, if we want to change laws, if we want to make laws, then we have to become legislators. Because if we don't, the laws will be made for us and not by us. And that's what we're doing. When, when Tez, I'm literally getting to the A today, coming out of a special council meeting, and we're talking about budgets. And what I learned in these two years is that if you don't put it in the budget, it's probably not going to happen for the people. Like, the money rules everything. You know what I mean? And the power that you have as a, as a legislator, as an elected <clears throat> official, you get to listen to the people, talk to the people, see what the needs are, and then put that into the budget so that you can make change of the course of that year, you know? And, and if it's not in the budget, it's probably not going to happen. You know, answer everything. That'd be a hard-ass T-shirt. Yeah. If it's not if in the budget, it's not going to happen. I ain't going to happen. They gonna be telling women everywhere it ain't in the budget, baby. It ain't in the budget. Is that is that is that what they tell the women, baby? It just ain't in the budget. Hey, that's we gonna make that the campaign slow. It's not in the budget. It's probably not gonna happen.
Is that what they gonna tell the women, baby? I was, I was just yeah. about to do it, but it just wasn't that in the budget. It ain't in the budget. That shit fits in life. Yeah, yeah. that do. It's not in the budget, man. It's probably but how do you the question? Man. How do you so get hard. it in the budget? I can't wait to say it to yeah. You can't wait to say it. Right. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> bring up anything got to do with budget? Anything that got to do with budget? You just been saying it too hard. Like nothing in my budget. Stop asking that, nigga. Right. Well, hold on. It's not that I don't have it. Yeah, it just ain't in the budget. It ain't in the budget. Yeah, I got it, nigga, but it just ain't in the budget. But you know you gotta tell nigga you don't got it. Yeah, right, and I ain't never got it. You just never got it. Come on, nigga. You know you got it. Nigga start counting you up. Look at them ribs on your car. Look, cause it works either way, like if a nigga get it or he don't. Right. Like, hey, my nigga, if it's not in the budget, it's probably not gonna happen. Huh? Don't let it go over your head. Don't let it go over your head. Don't let it go over your head. Yeah. Now, how you get it in the budget? That's the question. How do you Shit. get it in the budget? How you get it in the budget? Hey, now, no, see, man. we might need You know to I'm about to get... This. You can't wait to get, get that game out. You trying to get me back to that. I'm ready. I'm ready. You know we got to go there, yeah? I hate that y'all done put the pivot in the budget. Man, we got to put the pivot in the... I done encouraged him. I done showed him that it's a way, baby. It's for you, baby. But see, now that you put the shit in the context, it is... That's the pivot shit. That's the pivot shit. <laughs> well, if you listen, bitch, I'm going to stop You're doing too much talking. Start walking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you got two hands right now. You know what I'm saying? You need to do more. You need to do more listening than you do more talking. That's right. See, at this point, you got options. Options. It's like the stock market. You know what I mean? That's hilarious. Yeah. That's literally what politicians do <laughs> and preachers. That's how why do you get me. the money? Yeah. But how do you get in the budget? What's important to the involvement to make sure, hey, man, I need you to set that to the side? Well, the, the council has power, right? They have the, the authority to say what is the needs of the people because the people tell them what they need, mm. right? And a true, Say that one more time. The, the people... people the people oh, tell the, the politician, the elected official, what they need. And when they tell them what they need, the, the politician, the elected official, has to verify that that is what it is. Let's mm -hmm. take street paving, right? So uh, we had a, a conversation today in our council chambers uh, where one of our council members went off because he said, my roads are crumbling. And the people are, are complaining about flat tires and the rims. And, you know, if you got those fly whips and you busting a tire every now nope. and then, yeah. you're going to complain yeah. to somebody, yeah. right? Yeah, that matters. That yeah. matters. And, and then just when people come into your town, I had a friend come into my, uh, my town from Germany, and he was like, man, this road feel like I'm on a roller coaster. You don't want to hear that when you were part of the power, right? So now you have to... Go to the BA, who's the business administrator. You have to go to the administration and tell them, I need this to happen. And then when they tell you things like, well, we have to deal with DOT, Department of Transportation, from the state level, federal level, and wait for them to give us grants, that's not acceptable. You know, so then you lobby, you advocate, you fight for them to give you more monies for your community because the, the people are telling you, we need Avenue A to be clean and, and, and smooth because it's tearing our cars up. So now you fight for that. You fight for that money. And then, you know, when they tell you stuff like, well, that road won't be fixed until we get grant money into 2025, that's not acceptable. Mm -hmm. What about if you're like, well, I got some chicken for me. I got, I made some money myself and the community and we all want to put in on no, no, It no. don't work like that? No, you utilize, you utilize your power by saying, I need this I need you to pay for this, this desk, this table right here, right? And if they don't want to do it, they have other things that they need your vote on. They have other things that they need to pass. So they start so bargaining. So you go and you parlay. So can yeah. I translate that please, to the game? If probably, you don't mind? Probably, I just want to make sure why they call me the hood whisper. Shout out to Charlamagne the guy. Understand. And shout out to Andre Taylor, Gorgeous Dre, a.k.a. Gorgeous Dre from Oakland. I just want to put the game in your oh, life. Oh, mama, put that stand on my brain. So can I we just put it? I don't want to disrespect nobody against the pimp game, but just let me just take what he just yep. said. So they said the people control what they want. He said, mm -hmm. they tell them I need this, I need that. So if a pimp got 10, 12 women, mm -hmm. I need shoes, I need clothes, yes. I need this, I need, I need a good house. I need to be able to do what I need to do in order to handle my business. One reason why Heidi Fleiss won the codes in the game, she empowered women. Empowered, yeah. She didn't have to beat up on them. Mm -hmm. 
She never take all that money. Say, you know what? You got that. Take your money. Do what you need to do. I'm going to empower you. As long as you have what you need, I'm going to have what I need. Mm -hmm. So then when Heidi Fly is going to the trick, the client, or whatever you want to call it, I got the hat is because they need this. That's right. They need this. So as long as you putting, as long as the women are holding down their daddy or their mama or whatever it is, I got the hat is because they can't work without it. Exactly. They can't work without good clothes. They can't work without looking fly. I need right. their hair done. I need this. I need that. That's the same thing when you talk, talk about constituents. That's right. You just don't understand you have the power as a constituent, <coughs> as, a vote, as a voter, to say, I need this, 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 this. It's the same thing in gangbanging. A real OG going to take care of his hood. Yeah, right. A real OG going to make sure y'all got everything y'all need. A lot of these celebrities are buying the gangbanging. I ain't going to say no name, but some of them to right. be buying in the gangbanging. Right. Right. I ain't going to say know, no name. Know, but we know who they are. They main role coming in and they, oh, he ain't official. He ain't did. No, everybody ain't no killer. Yeah. Everybody got a role. Yeah. So even when you come in the gangbanging, hey, we need to make sure you got money on the table. We need to make sure niggas is eating. We need to make sure that. And then that constituency, that power that keeps him strong, that keeps him in office, right. that's how he's able to get shit done. If you're not loud behind him and supporting behind him, like shout out to Eric Mays in Flint, right. Michigan. Shout, shout out to, out to uh, the brother. Y'all probably seen some of his virals. The, the, the Rest councilman. In peace Rest in peace to Eric Mays. The councilman that was going off on white people all the time. You've probably seen some of his uh, videos went viral. They say, how do you do that? Because the people behind me, yeah. that makes a difference. Yeah. When you have the people behind you, like the Verizon commercial, I can do whatever I want in this motherfucker. Because yeah. at the end of yeah. the day, they vote me in, not That's you. Right. That's why people relate, why Trump, he, why he's able to have 91 convictions, why he's able to do whatever he want to do. The people are behind him. Yeah. It's not that we don't have the motivation. It's not that we don't have the dedication or the desire. It's just we're not taking our mentality and seeing that it is organizing. No different oh, than gang banging. No different in yeah. the game. That's no right. different than a man to go get women at the club. No different than women to know how to get niggas to buy bags and cars and all that. It's about organizing, having the mentality of making sure you're keeping whoever need to be strong in the front and take care of the back. Yeah. That's his responsibility. Make sure you're taking care of everybody. Mm -hmm. You ain't taking care of everybody. We're going to go get chose. We can handle like some what? Some That's gangsters right. or some what? Yeah. Or some just, she chose me. What did they say in the Mac? <laughs> yeah, the bitch I'm, chose me. Is that what they said in the Mac? Yes, Lord. That's what happens in politics. That's right. You didn't, hey, she chose me. Yeah. She said she wanted to come on this side because I got something better to offer. Mm -hmm. So it's his job to make sure everybody getting paid. And my job is to make sure they cut that check. Mm-hmm. What's happening with making sure this nonprofit getting taken care of? What's happening to make sure 85 South got a budget? That's facts. Any of the power y'all got on this platform, if mayors and governors and councilmen and whoever ain't cutting y'all no check, we got a problem. We got a problem then. We got a problem. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we got a problem. That's, 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 real. that's, shit that's real though. Right. Yeah. Now you're right though. Yeah. That's real. Right. They yeah. need to get in touch with me. But you yeah. know what? Uh -huh. If it's not in the budget. Mm. Probably not gonna happen. This probably not gonna happen. Damn, yeah. Don't bro. make me fucking get to talking with my constituents. You got real constituents. People. Yeah. You got real constituents. You got millions of people to tap into this platform. So that's, that's right. why it's important for rappers to try to probably try to transition. What's probably, important? Because they got the influence. It's basically yeah. saying somebody gotta have some influence. Right. What's to get important? This money. What's important? Like any other role. So push the line. My logo has somebody pushing the P, the U, the S, the H. Mm -hmm. Killer, our brother Killer Mike talks about this all the time. I don't need you being involved and going up thinking you can talk to Congress and trying to be, and trying to break right. laws down and all that type of shit. Yeah. We just need you to do. Let's just talk about the street. We need you to just be the muscle. Yeah. Just be the muscle. Now let me. I got a hundred niggas behind me. Yep. This, this we can either do this like this or we can do this like that. Putting people in trusted position to actually know, actually do this work for real matters. It's important. Everybody got to have a role. One of the problems I have with a lot of hip hop artists, exception to him, is they want to do it all. Mm -hmm. Literally, yeah. other than him, pun intended. Yeah. Yeah, they want to be the rapper, they want to be the legislator, they want to mm -hmm. be the councilman, they want to be the web, want all those different things. Put your, like Killer Mike say, he got the mobilization. I don't have a platform that you guys have. Yeah. I never will, unless I decide to get up and turn around and do 360 every time. I was but say, I, try, I could, though. Right, right. right. <laughs> so I don't have a platform. Yeah. So support people like me that's going to make sure you have what you need. It's going to make sure you have the organizers. We brought 300 people to Atlanta, mobilizing Georgia. Mobilizing and organizing. Mobilizing and oh, organizing. That's another piece. That's it. Say it again. Mobilizing, mobilizing and organizing. Uh, Man, get what? Get in where you fit in. Yeah. Get in where you, you know fit mean? in. It yeah. matters. I'm a mobilizer. Yeah, that's I'm it. I'm move around. That's it. Mobilize and get them lined up. And then the bottom, with the bottom. I'm gonna do. She gonna organize. Yeah. Hey, say you need to do this, do that, do this, and this, and that. C can I pop this game? I don't want to let up. Can I pop this game? It's the 
the same thing. It's mobilizing, organizing. Mm. Same thing. And there's no disrespect to anybody to take offense, but this is just where I come from. I can only speak from what I know. This is not what I've read or what I heard. This is literally yeah. from the lifestyle that I come from. So when we or, when we figure out how to do that and support the person best in position to do what they do, right. whether go. it's a yeah. muscle or a hustle, whatever it is, you need that in any game banging. You yeah, need muscle, true. you need money. Every yeah. nigga ain't shooting everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't have money. Some people put money in the game. Some people put That's why they whatever. say you, you need to have money. To right, so know your position. Mm-hmm. So I need the rappers to please. You don't have a platform, homie. You got the platform, but once you get them, who going to train them? I have right. a master's in adult education. I train these for real, for real yeah. on how to really run, how to really win, how to really be an operative, how to really hold somebody accountable. They better hope I don't get across these hip-hop platforms. Mm. I'm telling you straight up, hey, they got five million people. What y'all going to do? Y'all gonna either going to write this check or we going to start organizing against you. And, and that's what Pop told me, too, that's it. in that hotel room. He said, if we got a million people that buy our records, yep. we can turn those million buyers of records, of hip-hop records, into millions of voters, into millions of followers. And this is before, yep. you know, likes and... Yep. See, we got to make a song stuff, for you know? niggas to follow that. But, but yeah. you, we, we, have to, we have to realize and understand our power, like yeah. Tez is talking about. I tell people all the time, you got Sean over there in Belize, you know, uh, leader of the opposition party. He's the first in the world because he won in Belize the year that I lost, you know, and I'm the first in America. But let's realize that I tell people, even though you're not from Newark, New Jersey, where I'm an elected official, it doesn't matter. Utilize me from our culture with Newark, New Jersey. Come get property. Come utilize our blueprints, our platforms, and then take it back to your city. Take it back to your state. Let's mobilize and then let's organize so we can take over as a culture because if 85 South has 5 million people watching them, then we can, then, then 85 South can get a check. Huge. Well, what you mean they could? <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. By mobilizing Where's the money? I'm mobilizing y'all telling us they yeah, that they us money, money from everywhere. I right. need my federal funds. <laughs> I need my state funds. Right. Yeah. I need my um, um, Georgia lottery funds. I need all my funds. Yeah. They owe me some, uh, at least some, some so, new so balance. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. Some chicken right? wings or something. You talking about <laughs> five million. I'm like, dude. So, so I'm going to give you an example of the power of the people, right? So I'm campaigning 2021. Uh, I won in 2022. And I go down this block in Newark, New Jersey called Pine Grove, right? And it's a lady on the block, uh, a Haitian lady. They call her the mother of the block or the mayor of the block. I put lawn signs. Now, most of my hood doesn't have lawns, but this one area has lawns. I put lawn signs down through the entire area. I forgot maybe, let's say, five houses. So I said, I'm going to come back tomorrow, give the five houses the lawn signs. I feel like I got this area locked down. I come back with the five lawn signs the next day. All my lawn signs are gone. Oh, shit. I'm like... Oh shit, the optic came through here. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? And, and took my signs down and, and they, they took over. I go and she's like, no, we're with you, but I need something. She took all of the, mm-hmm. she had every neighbor, every resident take down the signs. Damn. So I said, why did you have them take down the signs? She said, because I have some things that are unanswered. Mm-hmm. The people. So she took, she had all of the residents take down my signs until they got what they needed. They had some requests. They wanted to meet the mayor. They wanted to, to, to us to promise certain things around the area, to, to uh, get rid of uh, a house that was, had some drug dealing on it, to rip down this house, rip down this tree. Little things when you think about it. But the power of them saying, we're not voting for you, we're not supporting you, until you sit with us mm-hmm. and do these demands. Respectable. Yep. And then when we did that, all of the signs went back right. up. And this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. Look, this year has gone by so quickly. What's something that you're proud of in 2024 so far? What's something you still want to accomplish this year? When life goes so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate your wins and make adjustments for the rest of the year. Therapy can help take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next six months. 
If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85South today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85South. Hey, what's up, famous man? Carlos Miller here with Prize Picks, where a single entry could be life changing. Now, the NBA Finals may be ending soon, but there's still plenty of time to place an entry on Major League Baseball, MMA, boxing, and the WNBA. Now, look, it's super easy. Simply register, deposit, and select more or less two to six player stats like points, assists, pitch strikeouts, and rebounds. You know, you potentially win up to 25 times your entry. Check this out. If this is your first time on Prize Picks, they'll match your initial deposit up to $100. Available in over 30 states, head to Prize Picks right now and use promo code 85SOUTH and tell them we sent you. So go right now and download Prize Picks today for your daily fantasy sports experience. That's daily fantasy made easy. Hey, what's up, fam? It's your man, Carlos Miller. I'm sure you know that bad, below average, or non-existent credit can prevent you from buying a house, purchasing a car, or even moving into a new apartment. Now, in my past, I did struggle with bad credit, but now I'm free. And you can be free, too. Free to live the life you want to live and deserve. Kickoff offers fast and easy solutions to safely boost your credit and help you reach those goals sooner. No credit check is required. Sign up for a monthly plan and in minutes, start building your credit immediately for as little as $5. Users with a credit score under 600 increase their credit by an average of 30 points in the first month. Now that's hard. Kickoff is a smart, legit credit hack with no catch and no credit check. It's simple. You make on-time payments, credit bureaus see your good behavior, and your credit grows. That's, that's easy. Kickoff is the number one credit building app out there. It has over 100,000 positive reviews on the App Store and 98% of five stars. Join over a million people who are building credit with a Kickoff credit account today. Get your first month for a dollar at getkickoff.com slash 85 South. That's K-I-K-O-F-F dot slash 85 South. That's a lot. It's just kickoff without a C. You must sign up at getkickoff.com slash 85 South to get to activate the offer. Offer applies to kick off new customers. First month only. Subject to approval. Average impact of 30 point increase in the first month based on Equifax Vantage Score 3.0. Changes for kickoff premium customers when started credit below 600 who made their first on-time payment between January 2021 and March 2024. Payment and credit activity outside of kickoff can have an impact on your credit. Terms and conditions may apply. Offers are subject to change. Individual results may vary. And it's not a lot of people. This is what I want people right. to understand. Because we, we have a, we There's just need to all get people. on board. That's it, about 20 people. It's not about everybody. If you look at the word, for those who study the word, it wasn't about 10,000 in Gideon's Army. It's about 300. That's why I always focus on 300. Right. You don't need a bunch of people. More niggas spend more time saying, we just need everybody on board. We need everybody on board. We need everybody on board. No, you don't. I've watched L.A. come to Oklahoma City start hoods with yeah, two like niggas. Seven. With yeah. five, five, five ten niggas. Like, yeah, that's it. All it takes is one or two line pushes. Yeah. One or two to say, this yeah. is how we going to move. This is how it's going to go. And watch them follow. If you know yeah. anything about the word, we can have this conversation from the word to the streets or whatever. You watch the word. Moses didn't need everybody on board. Facts. It was only one Moses. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everybody didn't go to Mount Sinai, nigga. Only one Moses did yeah. that. So when he was able to have the conversation to organize the people, that's organizing, to say, no, we're going to go ahead and go to the promised land. Who those don't like it, dive. Who those who want to go and follow, where we going? So it's that same mentality. Instead of waiting on everybody else to get on board, you get on board. He's like he just said about 20 people. When you look at your local races, this is why I focus on local races, and you look at the average person that gets elected, you're talking about sometimes 1,100 votes, 1,500 votes. I shout out to MCA, and I tell my time, nigga, why don't you run for Compton Mayor? Mm -hmm. Compton Mayor had less than 10,000 votes. You can't get 10,000? I, I know MCA can get 10,000 people. Nigga, we go, we got, you got five generations under you. Yeah. 
Instead of just, which I appreciate what he does with his football team. Yeah. I appreciate that. Shout like, out shout, out shout out to eight. But now I'm trying to get you the whole budget. You know, shout out to Big U, doing what he doing. Shout but shout out, but we, we yeah. want the whole budget. Yeah. We want the councilman at the table. When you talk about who, how many councilmen sit on your? Nine. We have Nine. Yeah. Did you hear that? Nine people got to make a decision. Yeah. Niggas talking about people in Congress with, you got 435 plus members. Damn. And all you need is the majority. Right. And, and you need, to, you you try, you try spend spending all this time talking about what Congress ain't doing, it trickle down, it don't trickle down, because you waiting on one person to have a vision to convince 300 and something of them that ain't going to never fuck with you. Right. And it ain't their job to right. fuck with you. Their job is to push the line for their game. Boy, that's some shit right here. Yeah, this thing, this is about... You just told yeah. all the Crips that they got Man, enough Crips to have I'll a get your ass some man. man, look at hey. But this is facts. I'm the I, I'm hey. Man, I got Regina here on hood. On hood. <laughs> no, real. seriously. She because again, serious. I'm dead serious. I've gotten people elected. Shout out to Regina Hill. Arrested 21 times. That's I got girl. elected. That's so girl. I'm shout telling you, Regina. yeah, shout out. She ran against seven people. Been yeah. elected three times shout ever since. Regina. I'm telling you real fact because I know how to win. She I worked Tampa, on the Bernie right? Sanders campaign. She in Orlando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing the wrong yeah. shit. Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is what they tell you. what they tell you. Flip this into a whole red, white, and blue shirt. Man. I'm getting in there. I'm taking the hush money. I'm taking the kickback money. And I'm going to make sure that they come through the hood and goddamn. But let can I say something? Yeah, you don't, don't have to. Yourself, no, though? this is what I'm trying to tell you. If you look at Mary and Barry, yeah, I encourage people. Oh go, now. go watch. Oh, See, go. let me say, no, you ain't got to be. <laughs> this no. is where I'm here to let you know to say today. Uh, I'm like the eclipse, nigga. I ain't around, but every 45 years. Yeah, this okay. game. Yeah. Look, can you say? Yeah, I'm going to go on the ground. Yeah. Yo, you ready? Yeah. Huh? They really came to gas us up. Yeah. Whenever you no, get I'm, ready, tell you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No, this is serious. I'm like when the sun and moon align. It don't happen every now and then, nigga, so take notes. What I'm trying to say, you don't have to take the hush money. Like, even no, though we're joking, don't. you don't have to take hush no. money. You don't have to do it. When you look at Mary and Barry, go watch the nine lives of Mary and Barry. Ooh. Besides the hoes, Shout besides the crack, besides the bullshit. The the That's right. Besides the hoes, all of that, he was able to stay in office because you were behind him. When you know yeah. your power, yeah. it's over with. But also, you have to hold him accountable. So if we talking about the game, yeah. Yep. You said you was gonna get my hair done, nigga. What's happening? Man, yeah. You said I was gonna man. get a purse. What's oh, happening? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah where we at? Where we at with it? But yeah. you know how good you gotta be at being a mayor if you get caught smoking crack and get elected again? Yeah. Right. Right. He was in there making shit happen. He because he took, care, uh, he took care. He took care. Money's gone, but hey. we still gonna do everything we said. Can I tell you? <laughs> can I tell you? Don't give you real game. Yes. This is why I gotta pop up on eighty five self every now and then. You do. The reason why? No, it's important. Yeah. For real, the reason why he was successful, he took niggas from the pen and gave them jobs through yes. his pride program. He did what I did. When Regina Hill, when they said, ain't no way you can win, they said you they said you, you was arrested 21 times, they said you got a bad background, you ain't never, you know where we went? To niggas in the hood, niggas with felons. Yeah, hey, I know you can't vote, but can your baby mama vote? Yeah. Can yep. your mama vote? Can you get us on board? This felon is just like you, nigga. When she get in, she'll understand how you move. So when you got people behind you, you can go and make those demands and say, my people need this, 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 as long as the people are behind. So there is a dual responsibility. It's my responsibility to make sure I organize and make sure you got who you need at the polls. It's his responsibility right. to make sure you do what you yeah. do. There ain't no difference in the dope game. You give me this, nigga, I'm going to bust this shit down. This shit better be right. Do you feel like our community support that enough? We don't know it enough. Yeah, we don't know. We don't it. know. Yeah, that's true. It's the lack yeah, of information. Yeah. Yeah. It's the lack of information. Once niggas know how to move, information can change situations. It changes it all. Yeah, <laughs> information rules the nation. It changes it all. Mm -hmm. And when people get upset, why you just talk about the hood? Why you just talk about dope? We more than that. I know that. Mm -hmm. I got multiple degrees. Mm -hmm. I'm the civil uh, documentary with Attorney Benjamin Crump. I roll with the elite of the elite. Right. But what I know that's the most powerful is the hood. That's fact. Because the hood gonna run through a wall. The hood gonna do what need to be done. Right. That's who they fear. They fear my yeah. conversation to the brother that never realized. Well, shout out to shout out to to the homies in LA. When you realize in 1992, y'all turned LA upside down. Right. You brought a whole peace treaty together. They can't do that shit right now in the United States and Israel. That's power. Knowing that you have that type of power and then go to the mayor and say, hey, what's happening? We in Inglewood. You got that SoFi mm -hmm. Center you just built up. Yeah. We need about 50 contracts straight up. 
When you having that conversation, it's just niggas don't know. Yeah. They don't know that conversation needs to have. Ain't no different than what the mafia do. We just haven't been organized on that level to really understand. Yeah. And just for they know, we ain't talking about nothing illegal. Nothing I ain't talking illegal. about nothing illegal. Nothing you got. Yeah. We ain't got to take no motherfucking hush Come money, nigga. Organized. We got 5,000 yeah. niggas hey, behind yeah, yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. No, nigga, tell them niggas a yeah. hush. We the hush money, nigga. Look, you going to shut we, up and we, do it our way. We, you know what I'm saying? That's how you just move. Just to cut my hush money yeah. off. <laughs> no, 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 You were told that they owe me all these checks. I figured they owe me some hush money. They do. But we we going to get loud. See, that's the difference. Yeah. We're going to get loud on these motherfuckers. Yeah. You got to push somebody out. Like, it's a, yeah, it's we got to get loud we gotta about get the loud. right shit. Yeah, we be loud. Yeah. But we be loud about, about the wrong shit. shit. We no, got to get loud about the right shit. We, we, we got to start moving on the shit. Like, shit yeah. be looking like it's about to happen, and everybody be like, shit. <laughs> that's what like, we don't act. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we need to act first. Right. Like, we don't need to wait till some shit happens. Be proactive. But it's just organizing. It's just... 85 South, give, we've been trying to shut up. We've been trying to get me on for like the last year. I'm not trying to be famous and this and that. I'm doing what God called me to do by working with you, by it. working with the Breakfast Club, or working with Do It All, by working with Willie D, Killing My. I'm just saying, just send a, just a couple of niggas my way. Just seeing just a couple of things my way. And so we can actually. You sound train. like a real hood nigga. Man, that got but I'm, yeah, no, but I do. You know, I got this shit. You're sitting here. I'm ready to work with and you. And it's pure. And it's pure. Oh, it's, pure. Oh, it's, pure. Oh, it's pure. My license plate pure. Yeah. Uh, I'm just you didn't think I knew that lingo, did you? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't think I knew that lingo. They keep on testing me on lingo. See, I got little, I knew that lingo. That shit pure. Yeah. I'm just trying to. <laughs> hey, but so it's too, like when you, yeah. when you think about it, right, the money is already there. Yeah. Like, because. When you get billion dollar budgets, sometimes it's just moving the money around. Like, let's take Newark, for instance. Newark, New Jersey. We have, when everybody was talking about defunding the police, you know, and, and police was fighting against the cities, don't defund us. What we did is we didn't defund the police. We said, all right, you have a community budget, right? You have a, a, a budget that is community service. So we're going to take 5% of that budget. And in our city, that's $17 million. Mm. Right. So if you take 17 million dollars and you give it to nonprofit organizations who's been doing the work for free, like, for shout, nothing. Out to, like shout out to my son, you know, my boycott, son. Shout boycott out to Black Murder. Murder. Yeah. Shout out to, you know, yeah. um, Kalisha Wingfield Hill. Shout out to uh, One Hood. You take felons. Yeah. If you put a hundred thousand dollars in a felon pocket and tell him all I need you to do is do the work. What you think they're going to do? They're going to do the work like it's a million dollars you gave them, right? So we took, we took money, $17 million, and we spread it around, around people who were felons, people, you know, we, so we have certain areas that you can't go into if you come from City Hall. We have certain areas. AKA check-in. Right. I just had check to do in. that. Right. I just had to right, do the right. lingo. Check Make sure in. they keep it on top of going. Right. <laughs> so, so even if you feel movies in yeah. certain, certain uh, hoods, you got to check in. Tap in. Tap yeah, in, tap in. Right? Tap in. So we have, uh, uh, we have felons that we tell them, our mayor, man, shout out to Rajay Baraka, he would tell them, look, I need the, the murder rate to drop in this area. So they might not get paid for the first year, but they'll go into the area and say, we're going to reduce the rate. Mm -hmm. So if it was five people that, that got murdered in that area, seven people that got murdered in that area, after one year, after six months, if it drops from that rate, if it drops from five to three, if it drops from seven to, to four, that's too that long. shows. No, that, no, no. That's, that's too long. That's to shows. try to convince a nigga don't smoke a nigga for a year and a half, and then you gonna no, so but, but you no. Got, by the time it catch up, though, yeah. the big bro. right? Oh, okay. See, that's what I'm saying. It yeah. matters. Yeah. It ma again. Who we doing it? it when we that yes, way. it matters. Right. Just no yeah. difference in the penitentiary when yeah. you got the car. Right. Who's in charge of the car? Who's the shot caller? Right. I, I remember Oz did a fictional episode about it, but it was very real mm -hmm. when they were trying to reduce the murder rate in the penitentiary. Right. If I'm trying to do some right, I'm talking to these little niggas on court. I'm talking to the shot caller. Yeah. You know, slow it down. Slow it down. Conflict resolution. That's why uh, Willie D and I are doing conflict resolution right. class. Child Child Florida D, Supreme man. Court co conflict resolution on civil appellate. So when you talk about conflict resolution, the homies keep shit in line. It ain't no long time. Yeah, it's real. just simple. We're going to get this money. What, when you look at why people are gangbanging, why they're involved in the streets, it's because of what? Property. Money. Right, so yeah. when you pay, when you take care of the hood and you say, man, instead of doing this, instead of shooting your brother, instead of whatever, gonna I'm going to give you a job. Yeah. I'm going to give you money. I'm going to give you an opportunity to stop this shit. When you're doing that, then you're solving the problem because the nigga just really just looking for a check. Yeah. So it ain't no long time. It is how yes. are we organizing behind yeah. it? How right. are we moving Makes people sense. forward? When you, I'll just tell you, 1992, 
when uh uh when the uh peace treaty happened a lot of reason why that shit fell apart is because the money that was promised to jim brown the money that was promised to those non-profits the money that was supposed to get trickled down never made it to the hood same thing that happened with george floyd in 2020 these companies said they were going to give over 100 billion or million dollars to take care of black folks make sure we're on the same page and they never did it yeah, but when i'm saying hey as a senior advisor for the george floyd family right. what's up what's up with the money and niggas ain't behind me and they ain't saying what's up with the money what's up with the money then ain't nobody gonna get no money yeah. so it's important that the mobilization i try to tell me hip hop you can have the mic you can have all the shine do whatever mm -hmm. just Why pass it to the home because i because i don't you see me she's trying to help you get the money yeah huh? but, but she's she's exactly right because yeah. in newark the crime rate has been the lowest it has been in 60 years that's because we got the felons and all of them doing the work. Right. Yeah. The, before that, they didn't know who to talk yeah, to. Right. They didn't know, you know who to I talk mean? to. Yeah. So his connection dollars. matters. Yeah, that should do. They matter. didn't know who to talk to. If I say, where you go check in in Detroit? Who know the answer? You like everybody got to know like who is who. So yeah. when you don't have us at the table, which is why this hip hop task force is important. Right. I'm not talking about these motherfuckers just on campaign trails. Oh, I know hip hop and I listen to no nigga. I, who really lived this shit? Yeah. When you don't have the right people at the table to know who to talk to, how to move, to really make a difference, that's where why it doesn't trickle down. It's trickling. It you just ain't trickling. trickling to us. Yeah. It's trickling like motherfuckers. Uh, but it gotta it gotta do it. And can bad. I say something just yes, right quick yes, about the movies? Mm -hmm. Cause you said just like in the movies, you made a statement, something about movies. And I wanna say this, because you guys are entertainment. I'm not just talking about hip hop. I'm even talking about entertainment, period. Right. I talk about Tubi a lot, and I want to shout this out to all Tubi directors and shout out. Yeah, shout out Tubi. Yeah, shout out to Tubi. Shout out to Glenn Tattoo Man Page, yeah. like really doing <laughs> Tattoo his thing. Tattoo Man. Tattoo Man Tattoo Page. Man. That's the nigga behind Tubi? No, no that's he's not a, behind. He's a comedian. Oh, Tattoo Man, oh, man. Tattoo man yeah. in Detroit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not from Detroit. Yeah, fuck with Brad. Oh, good, man. good. Shout out Tattoo yeah, Man. Yeah, shout out to him. That nigga can do a million voices. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Shout out to him. One thing I'm always telling about is y'all gotta get organized though. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at Detroit, literally Detroit and they Atlanta's they on the cover. Y'all yeah. running this shit. Yeah. Why y'all not organized? See, as an organizer, I'd be like, man, nigga, y'all should be running. I was looking at one of the actors saying, hey, y'all, uh, make sure y'all at Tubi and let them know to release my film. I'm like, nigga, we doing this on Instagram? We got millions of motherfuckers behind y'all. This ain't no begging, no Tubi. Mm -mm. Nigga, this going in the door. Hey, what's happening? See, we bring your fault. Because it, it took you too long to get here. Now you need to right. introduce Baby. the world to the organizers the and your organizer. team. Man, I'm trying to get niggas on board. It's no way, and let me give you this game, same way they did with Fox. Same way they did. Remember when YouTube was paying everybody? Mm -hmm. And he was getting paid yeah. off YouTube mm -hmm. and during the pandemic? Mm -hmm. How yep. they trick niggas into, oh, all you got to do, nigga, do four, five, six. Niggas getting money. We, there's some people y'all done. Yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. No clap, yeah. no clap, no clap. No clap. No clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They owe us another one. Right. Oh, the numbers wrong. But, That's but wrong. remember, That's look, wrong. look wrong. what happened last year. They <laughs> dropped it 90%. Right. They did the same shit they do to black people Leo, every time. Leo, what up, Leo? Yeah, they did the same shit every what time. What you mean? They, they dropped, dropped the 90. revenue, ninety yeah. percent. They told everybody, "Hey, y'all, come in." Remember, everybody was. Yeah. There's some people y'all don't have on the show that y'all should have me on when y'all had some of these oh. viral sensations. Hold on, wait that, a minute, wait a minute. I just need you to repeat one thing. Yeah. Just slow it down. For me. Yeah. Tell slow them, it down. Tell them what percentage they dropped the revenue. Ninety percent. Ninety. So you saying? YouTube dropped the revenue 90%. 90%. So it would only make sense to like have your own app and control your own right, media, right? Right, right. Welcome mm -hmm. back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. yeah. Right. They dropped it. So this is this. But see, is they how... wouldn't believe it if I said Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wouldn't but this understand. Is the game. Why y'all don't do that? Yeah, no, this is the game and this is how it works. So YouTube hyped your ass up. Yep. Every nigga thought they, well, all you gotta do is just upload four, five, six, because they realized it was an opportunity. Everybody was at home. So everybody was a comedian. Everybody got a skit. Yeah. Everybody got a podcast. Then podcast Mac done dropped since then, though. See, now everybody we can see who really, really about this right. shit when the, when the 90% got crazy. Man, I'm going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 who can't let, hear let that good? Let me say this real quick, man, because I don't think people get it. Like, Tez is a issue. Like, I'm in politics, right? And you don't know what an elected official is, a councilman, or whatever that position is, until you actually become it, yeah. right? She is what policymakers, she is what elected officials wish for. Forget the hip hop for a minute. She is multi six figures without hip hop in the political world. That's wrong. But she is saying 
I am making myself available to the culture of hip hop. We don't get that, right? And, and, and I understand because even when I first ran, people were looking at me saying, I have some people to say, I said, why you didn't support me when I first ran? They said, dude, I was just trying to make sure you wasn't doing a mace. Mm -hmm. mm. Playing the game. That nigga a fool. <laughs> that's, that's what they told me. <laughs> he a fool. And no dis <laughs> and respectfully, no disrespect respect, to Mace. Yeah. I'm just telling you what was told to me. I was trying to make sure you weren't doing a Mace. Right? Now that they know I'm official, mm -hmm. they're reaching out now, eight years later. Right. But I'm telling you, do not please culture of hip hop. The people who sell millions of records, the people who are multi-millionaires. The people who really need things for their community, please do not sleep on Tesla Figueroa. Mm, I'm telling you, you. And I'm saying that because I would hire her for any of my campaigns. Like it's it's really it's gangster. When you run it, this is a Yeah, this is some gangster shit. No, right here. I mean gangster. the Irish created this this voting system and all of that this politics stuff hundreds of years ago, right? They were involved in all of that type of stuff. We have our very own, I mean, they call it a hood whisperer and all it, but I don't want to make it a joke. I mean, we, we have some wine, we, you know what I mean? Some aroma in the air. We good. 85 South is a issue, but I, I don't want us to lose focus on who we really have sitting on this couch. Man, thank oh, you. Man. Can I give you a test? Thank you so much, brother. But I, I just believe in us for real. And when I talk about real receipts and how important the hood is, so I was the National Racial Justice Director for Bernie Sanders in 2015. This is when nobody knew who Bernie Sanders was. They was like, who's Bernie Sanders? The one with the gray and he did it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I remember my ex-husband, he dropped me off at the airport. Like, man, you just wasting your time. Like, and I just believe. They sent me to Michigan. And I was the only one, the only of the national black staff. There was like 12 of us, you know, that worked on the national level. I was the only black one. I got a baby. In fourth grade, I'm going home one weekend to see her. The next weekend, my mother's dying of cancer, so I'm going mm. back and forth. That was when I got my iPhone for the very first time so I could FaceTime and see my mother, you know, on a daily basis. So when we're talking about organizing with Bernie Sanders, going to see my mama was dying of cancer, about six months to live, also taking care of my baby who was in fifth grade. I went to Flint. I just want you to know how powerful the hood is. Mm. Went to Flint. Now, this is when Hillary Clinton had Detroit all on lock. Everybody said, right. ain't no way... <laughs> She got Detroit on lock. All yeah. black people go for Hillary Clinton. Ain't no problem. I'm working for Bernie Sanders. Okay, so I said, you know what I'm going to do? This is where that street mentality. I'm just going to go on the outskirts. Now, how many niggas did this on that? Shout out to Ice Cube that wrote Vacation Day. Yeah. So many niggas done took over so many hoods. Why you over here doing this? We over here doing that. It's the same mentality. I said, let me go on and go to Flint. Because they ain't been to Flint in a minute. They just taking advantage because they got the Detroit. Same thing, Ted, yeah, same went. thing. Yep. Went to Flint. Drop me off. Let me drop me off in the hood. Let me go holler barbershops, whatever, met Danielle Green. Danielle Green, hey, can you bring me about four or five people to meet Bernie Sanders? Now, Bernie Sanders had never, people say, he's never, you ain't never seen one of no black people. And Vermont is probably less than 10%, 5% black people. So they had never seen Bernie Sanders with a black person. I go get Danielle Green. Come on, Danielle Green. Mm -hmm. Three, four people come in the room. Right. She, Bernie Sanders took a picture of Danielle Green, took a picture hugging her. For the first time, Bernie Sanders was shown sympathetic. The cameraman just happened, which is why the camera is so important. The cameraman just happened to show him in an empathetic way. Everybody always said Bernie Sanders don't show no uh, emotion. Yeah, yeah. He don't never do this. He yeah, don't never cry. Like, he just be stuck. Yeah, he be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> he got the greenest yeah. of greenery. Yes, and, <laughs> and he said, he told the New York Times, I just don't do that. But for that very moment, you got, you were able to see empathy. They took that commercial, ran that commercial all through Michigan, that one commercial with mm -hmm. Daniel Green, and we were able to flip that state by 2% historic vote. That's fact. Now, this is where Bernie Sanders fucked up. You didn't continue the relationship with Danielle Green. See, I'm going to continue the relationship with Danielle Green. Y'all just came in. Y'all came and y'all moved on. What he didn't know is Danielle Green got so inspired that she became a state board. That's right. She, but she started serving on the, on the school board. You didn't know that, nigga, because you just thought, it, let's just come in, take pictures, and keep on moving. I stayed in contact with Daniel Green. That's how I met Eric Mays. That's why when Eric Mays died before That's it hit the God. media, yeah, before it hit the media, <laughs> Daniel Green's called, hey, Eric Mays is no longer with it. When you keep those relations eight years in the game, when we were able, I'm senior public policy advisor for Attorney Crump. When it was time to go sue Flint. No, 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 we're not speeding past That's that. not speed past that, okay? <laughs> Come on, man. How many, uh, Attorney Crump, like, black and brown issues, 
he's fought for and continues to fight for when it comes to civil cases and and she is the the advisor for him. Like I get what you're saying, watch this. I thought it was some more to go with the title. Wow. I thought yeah. it was longer. My yeah, bad. No problem. Well, I'm, you, it, you do it, a lot of dope I shit. do a lot. In his in his documentary, Civil, I'm the only one with a speaking, that they capture speaking, which was impromptu, around the 20-minute mark. They follow him for two years. And the director that directed Michelle Obama's Becoming, she was his director, and I was the only one they caught on cap. Like, they, had, they was like, this speech got to go in. But shout out to him. But I, the point, what I'm trying to say is, when I was there organizing for Bernie Sanders, I was like, hey, y'all, y'all got that water crisis? Y'all got that problem with that? Uh -huh. But make sure you come over here and let's get this paper. Took two or three years after that, over $600 million law of victory in Flint. The point is, when you stay connected to the people, yeah. when you're able to say, let me show you how to move this, how to move, how to bust this down, how to get this, yeah. it ain't just this. Nigga. Yeah. We can bust this shit down by four, five, six, seven ways. So you can have power. It ain't the hush money. It ain't mm -hmm. Trump's people offered me. I tell that story all the time. Michael Cohen, the one who flipped on Trump. Michael Cohen. The one who flipped on Trump. First time they ever seen me on Fox News because I'm one of the few at Fox News. I'm one of the baddest. Let's be clear about that. Mm, Anybody look that up? And the fine. Just can we clear. No, but, de <laughs> but definitely one of the baddest when it comes to debating white supremacists head up. Nigga, I'm one. I'm the one of them ones. Mm. But when you talk, when I got off the. Uh, the stage for the very first time, Michael Cohen said, this was in 2015, I'll, I'll make you rich, I'll make you famous. Just come on the Trump team. And I said, no, nah, I'm cool. Before Candace Owens was Candace Owens, when she yeah. was a Democrat, yeah. they offered that bag to when me. When she was a Democrat. Mm. Can I say it again? Please. I said, when she was a Democrat, mm. they offered that bag to me. I'm on Fox 60 to 100 times every year for the last nine so years Candace straight. So Candace got a bag. Let me talk some No later. question about it. No question about it. Right she got a bag. Oh, my community, you there's know, no money. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's oh, real. Mama. No, I'm being. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she so got bad. a bag, no question. <laughs> well, what they do is they uplift you, like how I be begging to get on niggas' platform. Come on, just let me give you five minutes. They make sure she's in position. They make sure, I ain't no disrespect to her. I'm. Hey, I know what it is. They make sure she's in position. They make sure she get the views. They make sure people look to her. They that's make sure right. they put the muscle behind her hustle. That's right. Wow. So when you put, because it it, 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 it regurgitates their message. She's the messenger for what they believe in. Um, of course. So when she yeah. did a documentary against George Floyd, did a whole documentary yeah. on the Daily Caller and got the funding for it, got the support for it, got everything to say, no, this man was just a dope dealer. Wasn't nobody trying to put money behind me as a senior advisor for George Floyd's family. That's right. So who going to speak on George Floyd's behalf? Who going to say, no, I mean, this is what it is? Oh, who going to do that? But it requires this platform. Like, I need y'all, for real. Yeah, we gotta, need each other. Yeah, yeah for I, real. I feel like, for that ain't, trust me, ain't no check on like this. Niggas shit. always talking about, hey, you hey, must hey, get checked. Hey, Where the check at? Because I don't work for the Democrat Party. I right. blast that motherfucking ass. I blast out Bernie Sanders. Nigga, you, you racial. You got you got racial problems on your... I sued the Bernie Sanders movement for anti-black discrimination. Right. And call them out plenty of times. So it ain't not, Black first. And Bottom shout of the line. Shout out to New Jersey for putting George Floyd on the steps of their front porch. We put the statue... George Floyd on the steps of City Hall on a bench, and it was given to us. Um, That's dope. You know, yeah. so yeah. we have a statue in the city of Newark with George Floyd sitting on a I bench in front of City Hall. Now, let me tell you some game, just as a side note, because mm -hmm. we want the statue. But let me tell you what I actually did. When change.org, shout out mm -hmm. to change.org, mm -hmm. that'd be asking y'all to sign this petition, do all of this. Right. When change.org said, you know what, we need your permission to put a um, what you call it when they do the, like the, the picture of you in the Is that like your uh, likeness of uh... yeah, like the hologram. Oh, the hologram. So they called. They said we need permission. This is why I want to show you how this game works. We need permission to do George Floyd hologram. No problem. What y'all got for the George Floyd Foundation though? That's right. Yeah. What y'all got for the That's George right. Floyd Foundation? Talk because Change.org has raised plenty of money off black folks. Y'all stay giving out this petition. Y'all stay asking us to do this. So what I want to know is, one, when y'all uh, unveil the hologram in Virginia, I need George Floyd family there. Mm -hmm. Number two, yeah. I need to make sure y'all writing that motherfucking check. Yeah. It ain't just going to be about no statues yeah, and no, holograms. We need that paper. Right, we need that paper. We need oh, that paper. Mama. And guess what Change Lot or did? So if you go watch Civil and you go watch that documentary and you fast forward to the 20-minute mark, you'll see me. 
that was in Virginia at the change.org. I demanded that you bring the family there. It ain't just about y'all. And then when they put us in a crappy ass hotel room, man, the price, yesterday's price ain't today's price. Uh -uh. Man, we got to, that shit got to get real serious. Right. So they wrote a six Lean figure back. check. And not only did they oh. write a six figure check to the George Floyd Foundation, that was the first time they ever gave money to a black family, that Damn. they raised all this money. And they created an entire program off of that. Damn. So if you're not having nobody say, hey, what's happening, honey? We need no, all this hologram shit sound good, nigga, but. Yeah, and we need a residual. That's it, too. that's it. Right. So it's nothing wrong with having that conversation. So if y'all get some behind people like a candidate, again, I, I don't knock the hustle. No. Do what you do, baby, no. hey, do what you do. But we have to have our platform supporting me too. Yeah. Ain't no money in this See, for me, trust me. We need to find out where the fuck yeah. Black Lives no. Matter money going to. For real, yeah. no, real talk, sure. where did it go? Where did, where did, where did it, it go? go? Gone, ain't it? Huh? It's a little bit it's of Russia. That's what I'm saying. I mean, what, yeah, where did it go? Right here. No, hey, I, I don't I've been wanting to ask. Yeah. I mean, hey, man, where, well, you know where, and where I've asked, where, where, where is it? Man, he went to Louis Vuitton and Range yeah. Rover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Think you got, got some right. diamonds and shit. Right. Vacation credit cards. No, that's real talk. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, real talk. Where all the stolen money goes. Yeah, I mean, where did it go? Recognize yeah. our power, man. Yeah. Realize yeah. our power that we have. Yeah. 85 South has a power Powerful. that they haven't probably tapped into yet. Well, y'all can come here anytime y'all want hey, to. Hey, I'm put on record. I'm already told them. I'm here to do the news <laughs> once a month. I'm relocating hey, to Atlanta. Oh, okay. I just want us to know. I'm gonna give me an apartment out. Just don't man, tell for real. me. Man, no, we... I just want us to know. <laughs> Tupac said. We got a whole news desk. If you need to come man, talk I'll to come me. Man, I'll be dropping this shit like... in a way people understand it. Tupac said, if you give me 10 years, I have my own political party. That's, he's, that's, he said that. And I was recruited by him. Yeah, he said that. <laughs> so this is a real and a crazy life thing, example. You know, I've seen you know what's, what's bugged yeah. out for me is that when I say that, I never had the person in the room that was actually with me, with him that night. And I got my frat brother over there who's from... Duval County, Jacksonville, oh. you know what I mean? Like, he was literally with me that night. So it's bugged out, because when I usually tell a story, he's not around, I'm in Jersey, you know, he's in Florida or Georgia. But to see him sitting here, when I say that, it hits different, because for me, it just reconfirms, like, nah, this was yeah. real. Yeah. Oh, you know mama. what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, mamas, <laughs> for real. Yeah. So. Man. That's dope. That's yeah. some real shit. Yeah, Sometimes man. people can see things for you that you can't see, man. man. They might just saw you as a leader, as somebody who could, you know, foot the bill for the change. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. But, so but he said it, though. He said, he said, I want you to do it in Newark. I want Tretch to do it in East Orange. I want yes. Common to do it in Chicago. Man. I'm going to do it in Oakland. And if Oakland don't accept me, I'm going to do it in Baltimore. Yeah. Nigga, the you Oakland would have accepted that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so right there as a little baby, nigga. Yeah. But, but I don't know if anybody has any children that's 18 or 20 or whatever, but I don't know if your 18 or 20 year old is talking like that man was talking oh, at 20 right. years. Oh, man, Pac no. Man, shit. hold on. Before Martin Luther King was, before Malcolm X was, Pac was talking about shit way ahead way of his before, time. Man. Way ahead of his time. Sure. Yeah. Way I consider ahead. myself his wife. Yeah, he, he you, was know. Gay. you do? I do. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm like, he I probably, start, he man. He was mobile. Man, he was mobile. No, when he was, no, when he so was so every, he had game. Yeah, man. He, he had his own. More open man. Man. He was in New York. He was in He was a mobile Man, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, for real. Yeah, that's no. Why, that's why all of the shout out to the outlaws, man. You know, that's why most of the outlaws are they from Jersey. Yeah. No, that's right. When he said the he, police in Atlanta. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he was a when he said when he said no. <laughs> when he I started my group, Concrete Roots, you know. When you talk about the Rose Group in Concrete, which is from Pac, when he right. say me and my girlfriend, say bam, 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 even though she was talking about the girl, I'm the girlfriend. Just give me the muscle, put me in a room. Yeah, she is the girlfriend. So we can have a conversation so they can know, no, nah, you fucking with Carlos, hey, you have five me more, how we gonna do it? This is how the mafia do it. Again, it's not illegal. It's nothing we going out of turn. It's just simply saying, nigga, that this ain't just jokes and views, nigga. No, it's not just You know what I'm saying? Like this shit, you know what I'm saying? This shit different. This shit hit different. Show, man. Hit up Los, man. Send the check. Come <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, let's Send the mobilize, money. mobilize, this for real. I'm going to do the right shit with the money. Right. It's not just going to be some shh money. It ain't. Right. No, we get loud. 
You yeah. are the gangster in charge, not yeah. the way other way around. I don't even Absolutely. You Take run this no shit. One thing about politicians, yeah. they need they need people in the room, and it that's don't right. have to be they a whole bunch of people in the room. room. I just need a couple of hundred people. They don't even have. It don't have. That's what people do. That's the part. The sad What's part that of the say, Just give me three of your best guys. That's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. I just want y'all to know what y'all have, how yeah. powerful it is. Even if niggas is wrong, loud and wrong. You know, right. a lot of people get upset. Strong they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know. That's all right. Just sit down with me, homie. Let's talk about it. Yeah, we'll you, figure this shit we'll out. We'll figure this shit I'm out. Because in that, you got your own opinion. I talk to a lot of black conservatives. Like, you believe in what you believe. If you really pay attention. Who you calling a black conservative? A lot of people are black conservatives. Oh, don't be. See, you got to talk to them. Talk yeah, when yeah. you say shit like that and look at me, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Me. No, a lot of people. When you look at the majority. Look that way. Yeah, okay, I look that way. Because you're like, yeah, you yeah. a black conservative. No, black. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why if you grew up in the South. There's a difference between conservative and Republican. Republican is how you vote. Conservative is how you think. Mm. So when we talk about, and that's the difference people got to understand. When you talk about conservative values, when I look at my grandmother, who didn't believe in abortions, right. who didn't believe in same-sex marriage, grew up in the Midwest, who didn't believe, who believed in charity, but one fist give you shit. She tell me, hey, you got to sit on your own bottom. You should have managed your money. Mm, sit on you should have did that was her worst. You got to do that. But yeah, she ain't got no problem. Yeah, but she ain't got no problem. She, got no problem. she ain't got no problem giving to the, the food pantry. Yeah. I'm gonna get this. But you, you gonna make sure you know how to sit on your own bottom. Yeah. Those are conservative values. Oh, give to bottom. charity. Mm. So, but she votes Democrat. I tell time, Grandma, you really a Republican. Mm. But because of the way the parties have been set up, right. she votes Democrat. Yeah. So when I say black people have a lot of conservative values, I'm talking about our value system, especially in the South. What we believe is important. I tell niggas out to every rapper's a, a conservative. You believe in two A, you'll bust a nigga down, you believe in carrying your own shit, right. you believe in your own money, I ride around and I get it, it's mine, I spend it. Nigga, that's a Republican value. Yeah. Right. That's yeah, my yeah. Right. You, you and can, clearly they love the Second Amendment. Love, that's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. This is a mom. Hey, man, when you when you look at all the uh, first time I met Charlotte, I'm thinking like shit. I might be a Republican. No, I'm saying, but when you have the wrong voices, so yeah, no, seriously, I <laughs> lean more towards left than I I'm do right. To get some money. No, you seriously, that up, yeah. every rapper is. Yeah. When I le I lean more towards left because of our social connection to the hood. We want to make sure that the poor is taken care of. Every nigga ever got dope. Want to make sure. Let me make sure they got turkeys. Make sure they got this. Make sure they got. That. Most so, definitely. so that's our liberal position. But when you look at just like w entrepreneurship, when we look at how do I get my money, I won U.S. Department of Congress last Congress last year for Entrepreneur of the Year. Yeah. When I look at how we getting this money, how we moving, who want to pay more taxes? I want to pay less taxes. When I look at the homies who got weed dispensary and saying, man, they killing me on the taxes. Mm. That's a Republican conversation. That's yeah. not a Democrat Facts. conversation. That's so right. we just have to know, like, where are we and remove party aside and have the conversation on what best serves us. Yeah. If you're going to give license a nigga to run legal weed dispensaries, then make sure we're taxing people correctly so they don't go back in the pen for the shit they could be doing legal. Mm. Shout out to Raekwon mm. and, yeah. and, and, Damn, and uh, never thought of that. Charlamagne the God. Yeah. I know Charlamagne don't like to say his name a lot, yeah. but uh, and Jake in Newark, who Ma was intricate in making sure that they have a nice dispensary lounge. Yeah, I need to be, I need all the info. Yeah. Because well, once they start sending these checks in, that's I'm right. going to need somewhere to get together with my people and then discuss policy. No, that's fact. Serious. And like I need to matters. be in touch that's with fact, the people. Though, Lose, real. Yeah. I mean, we joking and all of that, but. Everything Shit, no, you think I'm about. bullshitting. Y'all about to start getting calls from me once a month. <laughs> 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 and then I'm calling her with the oh, two by playing in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Ted, I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that shit you said with about the boy in the They do owe me money, Ted. <laughs> I get all the motherfuckers and watch this shit behind you. What you, what you want to do? That's yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, real right. talk. Like, they owe you for real, for real. And that's I'm, why I the, need you to help me get I'm it. I'm telling man, I'm here to do it. And yeah. you can do all of that, though. You can still rap and do all of that. Absolutely. I, do look. Trump still got 91 charges? You're right. Nigga, we ain't changing for nobody. I got to tap all in with Mr. Fast. Man, look, we look, ain't changing for nobody. I just came off a nigga. tour. I just came off a tour with uh, Farside and Onyx and Nonfiction right into a meeting talking about the budget for the biggest city in the state of New Jersey. That's hard. That's hip hop. That's, that's, that's awesome. hard. That's hip hop. Yeah. But that is derived from conversations with people like Tupac Shakur and other people, Tesla Figueroa. Like, this is this is what we are. 
we are not just one thing. Right. We can be we can be the eighty five South show. And then we can be in the mayor's office on Monday Absolutely. morning. No, y'all just turned us up. This yeah. is the 85 South uh, Community Service Political <laughs> Operation <laughs> Center. Yeah. This, ain't a sh- this ain't a show no more. I'm going back to Cali. Push this is the hard issue. Man, this is the Operation Center. We should. Yeah, man. The name of the band is the Operation Center. Like real talk. Oh, man, man, we mobilizing as we I'm speak. I'm sending Joe notes and shit. Call that white lady that we know. Hey, let me let me show you how impactful this is so y'all may have heard so I, I do the front page news on the breakfast club i did the front page news during the time that trump had his indictment right shout out to envy and jess shout out to envy and jess i want you to know how impactful this is you have the first president of the united states be on trial right now on trial juror number five they said where you get your news she said TikTok, google and sometimes the breakfast club do y'all know how motherfucking powerful that is? Mm. Now y'all, when I do my Instagram they lives, the they, they didn't hear that. They didn't hear that. No. Do you know that's in the history books? You have the first time Jura ever. Number five. Jura number five. Five is not one of my favorite numbers now. They didn't know that though. They didn't know when I do live, when I do my Instagram live, everybody who follow me know I always say, put a five in the chat if you hear me. Mm. Put a five in the chat if you hear me. I'm known for that. That's my number. Put a five in the chat if you hear me. That was confirmation. Babe, I got you five on it. I got five on it is what the song said, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It said I got five on it. Y'all didn't get that, though. Let me say it one more time for the deacons in the back. They said I got five on it. When you say five, you mean a five like this? Kind of like 85. (laughs) (laughs) We talking numbers. We talking numbers. We talking the book of numbers. Oh, can I preach this game to you? Can I preach this game to you? Show them nigga. They said, you're number five. You're not. They didn't even understand how powerful five was. Mm. You know, my fingers move like this. Man, it's so, man, it's so, man, it's so, it's so powerful. They didn't even get it. It went over your head. Spring it went over your head. You know? So when I, so ten years ago when I said the days of using hip hop as a political fundraising gimmick without accountability mm. to heal the story that hip hop tells is over. Oh, so so yeah, although you thought she was just saying something, <laughs> you thought it was just in a, I, I understand how the how the Lord work. I understand that it's ten commandments for a reason. I understand mm. that ten is complete and five is halfway. Mm. We got more to do. Can I go ahead yeah. and get yeah. preach yeah. up into this one? Can I put on my preacher? Yeah. Yeah. Man, they didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't get it. Well, I said we got more to do. Juror number five had a lot. Of power in it. It's power in the word. So when that, it could have been anybody. The 14th, the five. But could it have been anybody, sis? <laughs> it's 12 jurors. Why did the Lord pick five? Why did they say, what did you listen to? I listened to the Breakfast Club news. Oh, okay. Not nobody else. Come on, the Breakfast Club. Nobody man. else. So you mean when you in the Who morning, 20, 20 year old, 18? I think I do. Mm. I think I did, at least when that 91, <laughs> at least when that 91 charm. Yes, play, I, think play, I, I think I did. Think she do it. Yeah. Play on, with God man. if you want to. See, that was because I was going through a really <laughs> tough time. And juror number five popped on in and said, I got you. Don't worry about it. Just like when you wanted to Mount Sinai, because I was on Mount Sinai. I've been off social media come for on, a couple of on. weeks. Run down your resume. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I'm just telling you. I go come to Mount Sinai every now and then. Come so on, people man. say, why are you off social media? Because I'm on Mount Sinai. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Come I don't on. know what it is. I need to go up here and figure it out. Come Ten on. Commandments. I'm going to write it. Go down. Get upset. Get frustrated with niggas. Throw the tablets uh, down. Sound, I'm like go a, back sound like a little completion or something. You sound yeah. like a little bit of completion. Yeah, like so when juror number five stepped in the building and said the breakfast club, and all they said, oh, it's okay. We don't want to assume you anywhere, but that was confirmation for me. Cause we halfway through. Hip hop is the real. pop so, culture. Man, yeah, that is true. That man is real. I'm telling you. Motherfuckers do be having their eye on us. Man, but, eye on us. They, but, they what? We are the way things move. Right. 85 South is hip hop. For sure. Tesla Figueroa is hip hop. Do it all is hip hop. They watch us. Now we are politics. They're watching us. And it's the scariest thing in the world. Oh my to them. God. But you Please have to push the line. It. As long as you have people behind you, you can do anything. Mm. Anything out of all just I'm I'm serious. I go back to that. New York is the largest. I just gotta put a pen in that again. Mm-hmm. The largest city in the country. Right. Out of millions of jurors, millions that they could have choose from. How did I select you for this moment? How was it you? This moment, this hour, this time. And to assign you to this number. It's about the yeah, People that follow me on IG know. That's my thing I always say. If y'all with me, if, you, if I got a, a witness in the house, put five in the chat. That's right. I'm known for that. So to, out of everybody, I select you for this the moment. Five. <laughs> it got to be something. It got to be something bigger than just entertainment is important. Galvanizing our community is important. Definitely. 
Everything we do is important, but I want you to take that entertainment and not have to beg Tubi. Just going back to that. It's bigger they reduced the, it, the reduced it 90%. What you think about to happen to Tubi? Mm. You think they just going to yeah. let you niggas no, keep making this paper? Yeah, yeah. And, no. In about a year or two? Yeah. Tubi rocking. Yeah, yeah. but they rocking now. Yeah. But they about to they tax rocking. niggas. Yeah. So I'm trying to yeah. tell directors, come on, let's get organized. And, and let me say this, because I know people, and I got to say this, and thank y'all for giving me the time. Right now, people joke a lot about Tubi. Mm-hmm. You know, always oh, bloopers, always oh, bullshit, always oh, this. What I'm trying to tell people, it's good sock. You need to understand, two put niggas work. That's people right. are taking direct, becoming directors, Absolutely. becoming producers. I'm Absolutely. trying to put my shit at that, getting paid. If Tyler Perry had Tubi when he first started, that nigga would have been on Tubi. Been on because Tubi he says, was, we ain't wait. Talk. Yeah, Tubi saying, we ain't waiting on Hollywood, nigga. You ain't going to keep gay, gatekeeping. We're going to get up here and we're going to make this paper. I, I got to stress this because I'm really trying to get directors to, to fuck with me. Because what you need to understand is when you have that type of power, they will be cutting your ass out in a year or two. Yeah. Yep. I'm looking at niggas now. Yep. Hey, hashtag Tubi and let them, let them know to put it on. They ain't giving a fuck about your hashtag. We need to be organized come and say, nigga, we'll shut this bitch down. We got 20 million views yep. between these three, this director, that director, all Detroit will shut this bitch down. You either going to open, release this shit or nothing. Right. When you ain't coming in with that kind of power, when it's time for the streaming, because they're going to drop that shit too. Again, <coughs> shout out to Congressman Bowman on the Hip Hop ta- on the hip hop Task Force. Yeah. One of the policies that he's pushing is the streaming policy. Rappers getting paid 0.0003% mm-hmm. of your stream. You ain't even getting a penny for that shit. Why y'all not organizing having a conversation? Nigga, we we can't get a penny? penny. Getting three you can't get a penny? penny? But niggas is popping, calling, doing all that? Why we not organize and say, nigga, is this or nothing? Is this or nothing? Tubi, y'all should be really saying, no, nigga, we got collective and not everybody. Just two or three. Y'all it don't take everybody. Two or three. Top. Say, hey, yeah. nigga, we got 50 million motherfuckers. You gonna release this shit? We want our shit guaranteed, our return for the next 10 years. Right. That's why Fox News, people don't understand why Fox News is so powerful because they negotiated a deal with every cable distributor. That's what people don't know. Even when you say, I don't support Fox News. You, you got to support it. If you got cable, $2 You're is going to Fox You're News. Supporting it. They didn't yeah. negotiate like MSNBC. They didn't negotiate like CNN. Fox News is the most profitable and the number one news outlet one. in the country. People say, oh, well, how they number one? Only old people watch them. No, nigga, they beat out ESPN and Nickelodeon. Yeah. Damn, for real? Yes, they are the number one basic cable, not including your premium Numbers channels. They are number one and have been for the last decade. Yeah. Because they negotiated a deal that niggas don't even know how to negotiate. It's not that we don't know. You just don't know that the door is over there. It's not that we don't have the smarts and we don't know how to do it. Why y'all niggas ain't negotiating with two? Why not saying for the next 20 years? We need to make sure these number one series, and they make sure we getting it because I know y'all gonna switch it up just like right. you did with YouTube. Yep. Yeah. These are the conversations that we should be having. Yeah. Y'all in entertainment. Y'all yeah. whatever. Hey, nigga, before we do that, trust me, these. they will make a specialized deal just for you. Just like they do everybody, they make yeah. it just for you. But if you're not organized and you think the only thing you can do is hashtag, y'all at Tubi, them motherfuckers don't get fucked about you yeah, adding them in no comment that section. Sense. I don't care about yeah. none of that. It's the organization. We do need the comment section, but you need somebody else in the caucus that's having a conversation to say, you're going to either do this or you ain't. Every gang bang, every territory beef, everything that you see in the penitentiary, street level, it was a conversation first. And That's somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do, and now we got to get with it. Yeah. So the key is the conversation, and then what is the consequence? Mm. If niggas ain't willing to pull the consequence and say, we'll shut this shit down, like the Tea Party did, like the Trumpers did, then we don't have no power. And that's what we be fucking up at. Right. Yeah, niggas man. ain't willing to say, oh, but that's nigga, because we finna they don't sit have... this one out, Right. Pete. But see, that's because... It's always a square. Right. It's like yeah. boys in the hood. Yeah. If you're going to jump in the car, you're not. Right. Yeah. You're right. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not that people ain't... I've used the boys in the hood analogy all the time. Look at Trey. Look at Trey. Trey sat up there and did all this swinging at the air. Got some ass <laughs> off of it. <laughs> Got real sympathetic for those. I'm just saying he did all this swinging at the air. He did not ride out. Went against his daddy, jumped in the car, but it was time to bust. And, and then he said, no let me on out the car. Ain't nothing wrong with no, Trey, though. Good, uh, we need Trey at school, though. Right. But yeah, you we need... don't need that nigga at the, in the car at all. Right, at all. Why, yeah, why was you even in the car? Huh? Why was you even in the car? This is what I say about when you say Shirak. We, right. we need him at Morehouse, though. We don't need him in the car. Right, this, yeah, is, this, this goes to your point when you say should rappers get more involved. Yes, yeah, yeah. but I do need you to know your role. So if I'm getting in the car, me. No, J. Cole ain't want no beef. Yeah. yeah. 
They ain't nothing wrong with that. I advocate for that nigga. Stay where you at. Comes from them problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes from that work. Yeah, West Coast. So he wanted the action. Right, and it's important. I'm a J Cole fan. Yeah, but yeah, me too. He didn't want. He didn't want to ride in the car. Right, and that's important. If I tell you, man, I'm ready to bust. Oh, how you know? Because I'm a United States Air Force M60 gunner, nigga. I'm qualified on the M60, on the M16, on the on the low rocket, on the nine millimeter. I bust. That, um, that, we we don't want no confusion. Did y'all hear that? Wait I'm a security police. I think I bust. Go <laughs> yeah, so we ain't got to be confused about like what's what. It ain't just. I know how I bust if I had to check. Well, nigga, show me what's happening because I'm qualified on all that shit. Everybody got to know their role. We ain't mad at Trey. No. But see, this is why I want y'all to know the danger of having Trey in the car with you. See, having a nigga like Trey gonna either tell on you or he gonna get somebody killed. Because you wasn't ready for that action. One of the two options. One of the two options. You wasn't ready for that action. Are you going to tell? That's why when Ice Cube looked at him, for those who didn't watch the kids, why the boys in the hood, go back and watch it. It's a, it's a message in that. When he said, let me out, and Ice Cube looked at him like, nigga, nigga, we knew you wasn't about that shit. Yep. You got to not let get confused. This is in policy. Don't get confused. it's off for letting that nigga no, ride with us. No, but we don't let know. Let that nigga not get in no, the car. No, but we so don't know. Like you see Trey get angry. No, no, no don't we, don't know. Know. we don't now, know. We don't know. I knew Trey was no. a fucking square. Right. Well, you knew because your mother. Nigga, be no, but, you, but most people don't know because <laughs> Trey had on the costume. <laughs> He had on the costume. This is why when, when niggas die and, they, and, and you got niggas show up at the, at the funeral in the full costume, he had the shirt on with the blood on. He did all the swinging at the air. He did all of that, all of that shit, jumping out windows and shit. Politicians, wear they wear costumes. Yeah. You got to know the difference the between costume, costume, man. Yeah. You got to know the difference. Hood, that's it. No that's yeah. it. He had a costume on. A so costume surely on. I'm thinking that's his best friend. Wow. He got blood on him. He saw he died. Surely this nigga going to ride. Surely. He swung, the air, he, was he swung in the air. He got some ass off of it. Neil wow. Long fell for the shit. We, you know, we love having a nigga in sympathy. So, hey, and they this nigga. I like ain't made it because that nigga had a dad. He got out the car. I don't like that. Yeah, but no, but it, 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 it was meant for him to get he out the car. The and and, it, and it also car. was meant for Ice Cube to do what he did. It was meant for Ice Cube to die. They said that somebody had to die at the cross. It was meant yep. for all of those things to happen. My thing with push the line is, nigga, know your role. Like in the hood, OGs, know BGs, your, YG, uh, yeah. know your role. Know your if role. your job is to put graffiti in the hood, ain't nothing wrong with that. All I need you to do is but put graffiti I, in the hood. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. Don't know their role. It's OGs that don't know they OGs. But that's where, not even embracing being OGs. Right, but that's where the organizing Stop comes in. Stop trying to play the part that wasn't written for you in the script. Right. Mm. But it is, That's but true. I believe, but I believe there are some OGs. It is. It's just a few. Shout out to my big homie Killer Boy. Shout out to Spud. Shout out to T Taco. What I'm saying, there are some OGs. It is. It ain't it gonna is. be everybody. I ain't looking for everybody. Okay, I see where you going. I'm looking for 200. I'm looking for 100. I'm mm -hmm. looking for five niggas. I don't need, hey, 85 like sound, two, three, four, 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 that's it. That's it. Who want a hundred hoes? Four solid ones. Who want, man? Yeah. Would you tell them about the motherfucking game? About. Hey, yeah. first of all, any good pimp know how to govern. The quality, this is what Andre Taylor told me. He said, you got to know how to govern that man, shit. Everybody, man, did, did I hit the Holy Spirit? No, Andre no, Taylor man. said, anybody, yeah, yeah, it ain't about 100 hoes. You hit it right. Yeah. It ain't about 100 hoes. Yeah. It's about 10 good ones. Yeah. It's about five good ones. Andre Taylor said, we just talked about this last week. Gorgeous Dre. He said, the problem That's is a lot of men, Dre, shout out to him. He said, a lot of men don't know how to govern. This is government we're talking That's about. Facts. We got to stop talking well, about is, everybody is, ain't with it. Shout out to the Vietnamese community. No disrespect. But you see nail shop, nail shop, nail shop, hair Come shop, on, hair man. shop. You don't shit. never see them having no meeting or no conversation on no podcast. We all got to get together. Uh-uh. They got their own shit individually. And, they live and you can pick, the same and you compete with each other and make each other better. Nigga, you did that. You going viral. I'm going viral. You compete with each other and make each other better. The problem is they having a motherfucking meeting. Saying they yep. we're gonna take over this whole hood. The whole block. And sitting back laughing at niggas. Why we sitting up talking about everybody gotta get on set. No, nigga, this ain't for everybody. This is for the few and the chosen. That's some real shit. You know, shit. so that's <laughs> you just went crazy. No, that's for real. She went crazy. Yeah, that's for real. She went crazy. Yeah, no, nigga, sit at home, nigga. We don't you in the way, nigga. Yeah. So I talked to my son Tamika. Shout out to Until Free. Shout out Mika. And yeah, and shout out to them. Man. We got two different ways that we organize. They talk about accomplices. You know, we need, oh no, allies. We need good allies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need good allies, allies. I, I ran the ally group. That was the name of my company in Orlando. When it comes to this policy, now I don't want no motherfucking ally. I want an accomplice, nigga. Put your fingerprints on the motherfucking shit. 
Because yeah, when we go, it, when we go. Touch this ratchet. Yeah, nigga, touch this shit with me, nigga, bust. Oh, mama. Allies, you niggas shut up too much for me. One minute you over here, next minute over there. Nah, nigga, we going in together. We finna slide. That's it. Nigga, now hold this shit with me. Because there's something about the investment that an accomplice has. Uh. There's something about being in the foxhole, I guess, because I was trained one man up, one man down. It's know, something about being in the foxhole with me that makes me comfortable. <laughs> nigga, I'm, if we ain't doing it together, then I ain't doing it, nigga, because I don't trust your motherfucking Jeez. ass. But allies are important. You do need allies. That just ain't my role. Mm. So Tamika and my son do that very well. Yep. Killer Mike do that very well. Yeah. Let's get allies. But I'm the motherfucker that's going to be talking about the compass. Nigga, you in it or you ain't in it. Because, nigga, all the other shit. Run your license yeah. plate, nigga. You can't go on no yard. This Y'all say whatever on social media. Y'all let anybody come. Say whatever they want to say. Nigga, let's run down the receipts. It ain't a penitentiary in the world. You can't go to without running that's down your receipts. My election. receipts. You can't. You can't go to any penitentiary and walk on the yard and say, hey, nigga, I got a good idea. Wait a minute. Hold up, mama. Where you from? Who the from? fuck is you? Yeah. Who are you? Where are you mm-hmm. from and who did you come under? And nigga, show me your paperwork. Yeah, show me your paperwork. We have to be like that in politics. Mm. It ain't just me saying I know how to organize. No, nigga, let's talk about the 20, you 30, got the 40. Shit behind it. Let's talk about the races under my belt. Right. Let's talk about flipping the state. Nigga, let's talk about doing this shit. Let's talk about organizing the hood. Let's talk about it for real. It ain't just good enough to talk, baby. We got to get out this motherfucking talking. That's bad. We got to get to this real, this 90s grimy shit where it mattered what somebody did. I don't talk about hip hop because I say I'm hip hop or I'm cool. A lot of these pundits, no disrespect, but my counterparts who sit around and put their hat to the back, man, you ain't never been in no function. You ain't never been put on. You ain't never been. <laughs> That shit matter though. <laughs> and it ain't no disrespect to my counterparts, but man, sis, I see you, homie. Like you ain't really what it is for real. Facts. And it matters. And I want you to be in that space that you are. Like I need you in that space, sis. Get with me. But at the end of the day, shout out to Sylvia Nunn. Mm. The founder, the founders mm. of Pyro, who doing great things mm. in nonprofit. Who really Sylvia, out here? What up, Sylvia? Shout out to Sylvia Nunn. Wow. When the founders of Pyro, man, that's the homegirl. Sylvia. When man. you can highlight those stories and say, man, they went from Pyro to Pyru. politics, Pyru and to actually politics. be invited at the function. That's like, a, I buy that book. Man, Pyro to politics. How better does that get? I mean, it doesn't and, get and any but, better. But you see, you see Pyro from Cali to New Jersey. Right. Shout out Sylvia, man. Yeah. Real talk. Man. And that's the big homegirl. So yeah. Look, we're about to make this a 10 part series. This is y'all fault. Because y'all took on way on too y'all. fucking sorry, long to get here. <laughs> We've been set up. We've been waiting on y'all to come through. We're going to have to make this uh, quarterly or what? What we got to no, do? No, I'm serious. I told them I'm, I'm moving to Atlanta. I'm I want to come back often. We're getting a part. Yeah. If I got to be at the news that, hey, homie, this is what I need y'all to know. This, 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 this. This is just what my calling is. It ain't, I've lost way more than I've gained. Because when you don't take one side or the other, I either take a full Democrat side, get paid for that, or take yeah. a full Republican side, get paid for that. I've been riding in the middle for a long time. Mm. And she's you official, know, y'all. Been like, riding in the middle for a long time. Because it's important. This is the most important. I'm a part of Black Effect Podcast Network. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? For about a reason. Organizing. Yeah, for a reason. <laughs> it's important that entertainment is tapped in. It's important. I'm sitting down with you. It's important. I tell horrible decisions. Nigga, come on. Let me tell you how this pussy mixed with politics. Oh, Lord. Let's have this conversation. Let me, hold on. Yeah, that's, 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 I've been twisting my ankle. I've been twisting my ankle a lot. Man. Shall we talk yeah, about it? Because I can break that shit down. Shit. Do you want to go there before we leave? Going, Should we go there before we leave? We need to go viral. No, before we go there before we leave? That's oh, that's 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 that need to be a whole episode. Yeah. And they said, the sister was like, what you mean is politics? The pussy? Shall I explain to you how that? Oh, man, let me just Bro, show it. Let me show man. it. Man, and, and man, yeah. it's the most powerful thing in the world. Just and like politics. And then you got the women in the audience like, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, that's, no, that's right. for real. Yeah. It's real. No, it is. It's real. You got to sell it to tell it. Once oh, you get, man. man. You got to sell it to tell it. Man, man. it's so wet and warm. Yeah. But, uh, you don't get anybody to raise your nerves. Right. Right. No, so how do we make that connection? Or they're like, can you come on and talk about politics? I said, girl, I can show you how this whole thing, from the dating, the courting, the fucking, the side chick, the wet spot, Real how shit. all this shit Ooh, is politics. It is. Gangster Chronicles, another one of our podcast mates. 
Let me come on and tell you how the Electoral College is OGs, the YGs, the B. Let me break down Inglewood family how, so you can understand the Electoral College. Let me come to 85 Cent and let right. you know, hey, That's hey, right. Atlanta ain't just, we ain't just talking. It's one of the most powerful. It's the only state that that has flipped that is literally a battle ground That's with facts. black people controlling and more importantly, hip hop. You are in the center. No other state. That is fact. When you talk about who can... That's why I, I was glad that Herschel Walker came so close. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't even see the game with that. Mm -hmm. I was glad because it let you know you're going to have to come fuck with Atlanta. That's right. You ain't just get to just pass over niggas yeah, in Georgia. Yeah, you can't do that. But no. see, but yeah. what they didn't get, though, guess what? Atlanta's the... This is where we hip-hop actually runs shit because when you look at Atlanta and you look at everything the brothers are doing and, and entertainment is doing in Atlanta, y'all truly run this shit. So now that they put you in one of the early states, I'll give you all that game later. Georgia's one of the early states. So that means you get to flip that. They literally giving you a key to flip, and you don't even know it. Mm. They said it's going to be Iowa. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, South Carolina first, all black. This is the new yeah. early vote. And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get on that. The early it. vote. The early vote is what matters. So you have <laughs> South well, Carolina first. I have won my election probably because of early vote. Shout out to Monaco Cruz, because I won my my early vote. Go ahead. I mean, I, I, I so, won my vote because of early vote. So the new, so just so y'all know, the new, what they're trying to get is the, the new early vote states. South Carolina first, black, Jim Clyburn. Mm -hmm. Third, New Hampshire. Uh, new Hampshire, no. Yeah, second, New Hampshire. Third, Georgia coming to mix. Second, I'm sorry, New Hampshire and Nevada. Georgia coming to mix. That means you get to flip it. That means you say, hey, I know Jim Clyburn picked X, Y, Z, but when it gets to three, though, we decide mm. if it's going to be what he say or what we somebody decide. else say. Yeah, let's talk the about third it. place is the better. Mm. Not necessarily the first. Mm. It's the third. Because the third get to say, hey, y'all say y'all going. Sin. Right, no, and then the fourth is, the fourth is Michigan. Out so when you talk about the early states, not everybody else voting. I want y'all to know, it ain't about everybody. It's nope. only about four or five states that really run this shit for real. And Georgia's at the center of it. It's about being intentional. And you guys are at the center of it. This is the only state that has four counties that are black that have flipped. Blue, red, blue, right. red. Blood, right. crip, That's blood, facts. crip. Yeah. Left side, crips, they hold their flag on the left. Yeah. Right side, bloods, hold their fla oh, right. flag on the right. Republican, right, red. Democrats, blue, left. Left, left yeah. right. It is literally bloods and crips. And Georgia is the only state that has black power that can do that. And Atlanta, which is the hip hop uh, mecca yeah, for so the South. The combination in one. So this is where your voice actually matters. This is where what mm -hmm. T.I. say and Killer Mike and what y'all say, this is where this shit matters. So you have money to, re you have movement, real motion to say, nigga, it's gonna be this or it ain't gonna be that. We just asking for these three, four things. That's it. If we ain't getting these three, four things or these five things, we know 10 ain't gonna happen, but we want these three or four things. And then we want our council people to be on board. We want our mayor to be on board. If you organize around this, I know y'all are a national platform, but you're still in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, y'all got Georgia at your hands, literally. And that's what people come to you and say, what can we do to help? It ain't about no motherfucking hush money. It's about loud, nigga. You either gonna Look, do this or we're gonna tell everybody you did. This your last time turning down my hush money. <laughs> <laughs> you she killed your hush money. You gonna be the fucking hush money. You gonna stop saying this shit. Yeah. She killed your hush money. Cause the loud, the loud money is so much better. Man. The loud money is so much no, better. Don't try to sweeten the deal, though. No, I'm sweetening the deal. <laughs> hey, can we break it down on some games? Hush yeah. money if you is tell, cash. Hold on. Gym bag. Somebody just filed like a lawsuit. Somebody just filed a lawsuit the other day. Well, we ain't gonna make. If I tell you I'm gonna give you five million to be quiet, and mm -hmm. she said, I think I'm gonna go on and go to the media. What you gonna offer? No, I'm going to the media. That ain't enough to shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> That's no, right. I think you just took the it. loud one. I don't mean literal. No, hush but money. I mean literally though. But I mean I wouldn't fuck with it. But the hush I'll, money's so much the, the loud money's so much better. When they are better. afraid of what you gonna say and how you gonna move people, that money's so much better for most so much more. You smoke loud, don't you? It sounds fucked up. Yeah. No, White you people show us some money, you gonna yeah. trust that? Yeah. I'm nervous. Exactly. That sounds like the setup they, already. They putting us up on games. I'm bring you up on games. Absolutely. But ain't even white people, it's black people too. You have the power. Well look, fuck hypothetical money. It's how hypothetical. <laughs> Until you get it up. Oh, no. I feel you. Until they tap me in for what we yeah. been doing to the community. They I don't want to hear that. No. Well, yeah, no, seriously. I just What's want that? our conversation to be about, it's not about paying me to shut up. Right. It's about paying me because I'm going to talk loud, mm. and you need to make sure you ain't on my list. 
Mm. Absolutely. That's mm. the bottom line. If you on my list, I'm then it is. Like all the other cultures. That's right. Every other motherfucking culture does. Yep. Well, Everyone. Look here. Right. This is going to be installment one. Y'all about to start coming back. Next time y'all come, we're going to have some podium <laughs> set up man. in this bitch. We back. <laughs> we back, yo. We here. Well, we definitely appreciate it. Thank it's y'all first time stopping through the 85 yes. South Show, but don't let it be the last. I hope okay. you learned some. I hope you're listening. I hope you're listening. And to all you motherfuckers who owe me money, <laughs> <laughs> don't make you it do hard. what you do to make it right. Just to do it all. Yo, close. Because if it ain't in the budget, what? Yes, love. Because if it ain't in the budget, it probably ain't going to happen, man. <laughs> and I'm going to show We have to take it to the couch. We have to get you to sign the table, man. Oh, man. I was going to say thank you. Thank yeah, you first. You know what Simmons time it is. Theater, yeah. San Diego, we coming through there. Diego, sand. No cap. <laughs> Diego, sand. I'm going. Cross yeah, we're going to be out there. I'm June 22nd. Hey, if y'all looking for me June 22nd, you I'll be in San Diego. San Diego, we're going to come with you. Line. Get your tickets. 85southshow.com. Get your tickets. June 22nd, San Diego. San Diego Cross uh, the line. Civic Center Theater. Cross yep. the line. Hey, 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 nigga on mamas, nigga. You know what? what time it is, nigga. Get your tickets, nigga. We coming to the town, nigga. Yeah, June 23rd, nigga. Yeah, you hella weird, nigga. You hella weird, June nigga. June 23rd, nigga. Nigga, if you don't come, to the, nigga. Show, nigga. Nigga, you don't mamas, come to the show June 23rd, nigga, you hella boosy. That's hella my boosy, nigga. Word. Hella yes. boosy, nigga. Eh, eh. Get up out of here on nigga, nigga. Get up out of here. Come see y'all like June 23rd. Sure. Yes. You yeah, dig? Cause, yeah, cause, I'm, cause real G's eat cheese and stack G's. You dig? Not the ones that got down that can't eat cheese. They lactose. They hella weird. No but get your tickets. Yeah. When, yeah, you, you don't already get, know. You don't get no hoes, so you lactose. Open in the ring. You, you lack hoes. You dig? Lactose? Lack. Lactose. 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 Lactose.